Wanna be here, neither do we. That's why we call it the obligatory. We talk about farts, food, mics, kids, five thousand dollar beds, girls, comedy, and Kermit's butthole. Yeah, maybe the facts aren't right, but here's the obligatory podcast with Kermit and Mike. What's going on, everybody? This is obligatory podcast with Kermit and Mike with special guest Pedro Lima. Episode 61. I was going to get to that. Were Ep- you? Yeah. Episode 61. As always, you can find us on iTunes, Spotify. Um, watch us on YouTube, Instagram. And as always, you want to see some behind the scenes and exclusive videos and photos you will not see on those platforms. Check us out on Patreon. Donations helping us out can be from a dollar and up. Dollar How's that 10, working five. Out? It's working out well, actually. Is it for real? Yes. People are giving money? People are giving us money Shut for up. all this kick-ass equipment. What are you guys giving them in return? We give them secrets. Just secrets? Just secrets. It's just it's exclusive stuff that... We really can't. We can, We're not we at liberty to just talk about them shit. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, yeah, yeah. I think our three subscribers would disagree. Yeah, no. <laughs> It's it's, go, it's going well. I mean, we're, they're getting the stuff that you can't. Uh, Are you filtering money from your father's dojo? <laughs> no, I'm not filtering. If money. anything, he's taking money from the podcast <laughs> into the dojo. <laughs> <laughs> he told me all the money we're making. I'm like, I haven't seen a dollar. I haven't seen a dollar because hey, it goes what? into it goes into Sanchez's bank account. <laughs> See, actually, Sanchez is collecting. It goes to his PayPal. Yeah. So. Yeah. And so, he, you know how we've always talked about making money for bookers at comedy clubs? Like, we don't make a lot of money, but the bookers <laughs> yeah. are getting rich. That's what podcasting is for me now. Okay. Now I come here once a week and I make someone else money. Somebody got to pay for those drawings. Someone's yeah. got to pay for that drawings. He's worth it, though, as we always say. Episode 61, everyone. How's it going? Hey, <laughs> Welcome back. It's good. It's good. Happy uh, belated Easter, everybody, and Passover and whatever else you celebrate. Yeah, you a big Easter guy? You do the nah, Easter thing? Okay. I, I mean, my family does. I don't. I could care less. You hide the webbles in the yard and go uh, my, after? My mother does that stuff for the kids. Oh, okay. I don't do it. Yeah. How about you? You had a Easter Bunny experience this past week. Huh? <laughs> Is that where we're gonna go right into this? <laughs> Why not? We always waste well, I mean, twenty minutes talking about nothing. Let's Easter get to some stuff good for the stuff. Kids? No, he's talking about the dude that beat the hell Wait, out of the homeless hold people. Hold on, we, we don't skip to that. Do you do stuff for Easter for the kids? Uh, I take my kids down to my parents' house in Port St. Lucie every Easter, and they do, the and Easter we spend stuff? the night, and then the next morning Easter Bunny comes, and my dad does this cool thing like. The Easter Bunny brings baskets, but then my dad did this even when I was a kid. He gets those plastic eggs, uh-huh. and rather than just doing an egg hunt where you go around and find it, he hands you one egg, and inside it's got some candy, some change, and a clue, like a pirate clue oh. riddle. And that takes you to the next egg, which takes you to the next egg, which takes you to the next egg. And after, like, you so know. So it's like 15, an escape room kind of thing. It, <laughs> it's like an escape room scavenger hunt type pirate clue thing and at the end of it all is usually uh, like when i was a kid it was usually like a toy or something else or if it, it would be like a family oh, like present. A Hurley he family tradition. yeah yeah so now my kids do it and it's cool because this year uh last year aiden was kind of reading some of the stuff but this year he read like every clue and oliver was even jumping on and reading some of the words and stuff like that so it was cool do you put like andrew dice clay like limericks in there uh, I should for one it, Easter. I think <laughs> I think this is my dad's. You know, he was a musician before Wait. I was born. <laughs> Little so, Miss Tuffy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say yeah. Hickory yeah. Dickory <laughs> Duck. Oh, the <laughs> dicks in the egg. Yay, gee, gee, gee. Check the stove. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking right before we started recording. People who probably shouldn't have kids <laughs> think we just figured out another one. <laughs> But yeah, he used to be a musician, and I think part of, you know, he took the steady job and gave up on the dream to raise kids, but I think Easter's the one time of year he feels like, oh, I get to write down and do some writing, and this rhymes, and that rhymes, and yeah. He and <laughs> what rhymes with egg hunt? Her cunt? <laughs> no! Yeah. I, I feel like as he gets older, he gets a little more urban, because not all the words really rhyme, he just adds <laughs> izzle to different things. <laughs> If I was going to throw it like a trap album by next Easter. <laughs> like this, this hunt's almost done in. Take a look in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> the sizzle. My, yeah, even uh, that's not sizzle. really a clue at that point. It's just like go there. Go there. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. It goes under. So, <laughs> yeah. What? And uh, it's always like uh, Nerf guns or like a family. Like, I oh, think violence. We got, we got trampoline one year. Self-inflicted violence. Who dresses violence. up as the Easter Bunny? Nobody, believe it or not. Oh, it's, it's, I figured it's you, like Santa oh, Claus. I'm shocked. Yeah, no. I, shocked I thought you it did. would be yeah. you. You know, sure. you know what is funny, though? And I know we've wanted to avoid this for a second. That thing that happened downtown, mm -hmm. I had like six different people private message me on Facebook asking if I was the Easter Bunny. And I'm like, <laughs> is that really what I'm putting out in the universe? Yeah. I mean, like, kind of. Just because I, I have anger issues and, have a, super a, anger and issues. a lot of costumes of <laughs> mascot quality in my garage. It's amazing how that went down and how that dude also went down. So for those of you who have not heard about this, Kermit, he's your buddy. Why don't you lead us in on what? Lead us in the news, people. This week. I like how you say he's my buddy. You got a picture with him. We don't have pictures with him. So from the get-go, what happened? So I guess Sunday he was out partying downtown. People don't even know who this guy is if they're listening. No, so he's dressed up as the Easter Bunny. There's a video that went viral. Right. He's just partying, grinding on chicks, drinking, having a good time. The Easter Bunny. Easter Bunny. That's the Easter Bunny. And he had a crew and everything. That were at first, when you first watch the video, it looks like he's helping out his girlfriend or a friend getting beat up by another guy. Okay. So he jumps in, breaks it up, and then he starts punching the other dude in the face. Mm -hmm. Cops come, they break it up, and then you know he's kind of doing like that juke and jive. He's like, yeah. yeah, I want some more. I'm the Easter Bunny. <laughs> Rabbit season's open, motherfuckers. I was like, oh, right. shit. So, but you keep watching and you start realizing like... And this video went viral. Yeah, the video went viral. And all of a sudden there was this huge group of people out there saying, oh, it was nice for the Easter Bunny to step in and defend this innocent woman. woman. Yeah, it was a yeah. guy and a girl fighting. Yeah. 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 But... The story keeps getting better. It's getting better. It just, it just the, the layers of this onion story yeah. starts peeling off. So that, that was Sunday night. Right. So then he gets interviewed by mm -hmm. like every news channel, every radio station, because once it goes viral, this dude decides he's going to cash in on of this Insta yeah. fame. As makes, everybody should. Makes an Instagram profile called Go Bad, Bad Bunny. Bunny 19. Yeah. And then post his video along with the other videos of him going out. Which yeah. is only one Bad Bunny, and that right. other Bad Bunny's going to probably put a cease and desist. Oh, on that's that. right. A Hispanic rapper. A uh, Puerto Rican rapper. Yeah. And uh, this Respect. guy, you, you host the open mic, of course, at Other Bar on right. Monday nights. And this bunny showed up. So one of the comedians invited him out. On Instagram, go, hey, we run a comedy show. You should come out and hang out. And he did. And the bunny showed up. And I saw the pictures of right. you guys hanging yeah. out and stuff like that. This is where it starts. And everything's fine. Great. Easter Bunny. Saved the day. It's not great. Saved not the day. Great. Every, he saved the day. At he, this point. Like, but what's this point of the story? What do you mean he saved the at, day? At this point. But here's my thing. I was watching the video the very first time I saw it. And I heard, first of all, there's a man and a woman fighting. But the woman's beating the crap out of the First guy. First of all, I didn't even yeah. know it was a woman until this afternoon. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought but, it was two dudes. For, yeah. But I hear the guy who's getting beat up twice say, she spit on me. She spit on me. And so the woman's got the upper hand on this old dude who later on turned out to be homeless. Yeah. Okay. The bunny comes in while the woman has the upper hand, goes to break it up, then turns around, starts swinging on the guy. There you like, go. Like this woman didn't need the assistance. Yeah. But as the story goes on now, I've heard alternate versions where the woman and the guy were homeless. Yes. And they were fighting over a piece of pizza. Right. Oh, shit. Because it's next oh, to Saks. It's next oh, to and that fight. Yeah, yeah, that joint, pizza joint. Right which next used to be uh, per, per, Panino's, and they change like that. That pizza times. joint, by the way, is always has like the worst reputation for like crazy shit. Like a couple months ago, a dude walked in there naked and wiped his junk all over the, the glass. Oh. And they uh, had to beat him right. up. And I was like, ugh. Okay. So, yeah, that, that pizza joint always has fights in so front of So they got the health rating up. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> they, <got, yeah>. <laughs> uh, they, they don't have clean towels to wipe that down. I don't, I, I don't eat from that place at all. So, the whole time I'm watching this video, everybody's like, yeah, yeah, thanks, Bunny, for jumping in. But to right. me, it looked like the Bunny jumped in, took some cheap shots on a homeless But that's dude. the problem now is that people just jump to whatever narrative they Nobody saw make what it. started it. Nobody wants to, to take time. They just want to judge it right away and right. jump in it and make right. this dude a hero. So if they wanted to make him a hero, fine. You know, no, it's but, not fine. No, no, listen. <laughs> this is where it gets interesting. He was anonymous. Apparently, there were no arrests that night, no one involved in the fight, uh -huh. so the police never got this rabbit's name. But the Insta fame made him go, I'm going to take the mask off and get my share of fame. The only problem with that is once he took the mask off, right. people knew who he was. And why was that an issue, Kermit? 
because he has a warrant yeah. <laughs> in, in New Jersey. I'm looking up for the article right now. He has an outstanding warrant in New Jersey, and he has a violent history He's uh, been from, a, from the Tampa area. He's been arrested for, for carjacking. There he's go. been arrested for hitting someone with a gun. Yeah. He's been arrested for, this is ironic, spitting on a 7-Eleven employee. The whole thing that started yeah. this fight, apparently, he's done. Yeah, 20 years old. <laughs> This is why, Kerm, I'm disappointed in you. Oh, don't you dare switch this on me. I am disappointed in you. Hey, Time out. Don't you raise your voice to our guests. We have so few of them. Let him speak his mind. Because you're taking a picture you with, son with of a this bitch. guy right. that you don't even know, but you're just, ah, he's fa- inter- internet famous. You don't know his history. Now you got his history, and you are, are, are how is your, your father murdered so many people in that <gasps> village? <laughs> For you to have a palace dojo that he's going to hand down to you, and you just besmirch your dojo's name by taking a picture with a rodent that assaults Dude, people. Dude, I was torn about coming here to do this podcast with you tonight because I have a reputation and a standard, and I thought that's what we brought to the table. A reputation table. you have? Shush! How do you expect your father to hand down the castle to you? Yeah. You've, you've been besmirching out. us. Time out. I didn't know any of this shit. Mm-hmm. He showed up to the bar. Uh-huh. They, 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 he, he came in. People took pictures. I jumped in and took a picture. Mm-hmm. I admit that. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize this guy was pistol whipping motherfuckers for $20. Yo, you, so you imagine if he would have raped somebody? Oh, oh that would have been... Gonna, or child molest no. to be held up as the savior of women. Picture how that, oh. sum, picture how that summer camp campaign would have yeah. been. Why else are you dressed up in a right. rabbit costume if you're not trying to lure some children over yeah. for a little hop hop? Hey, you know, come, you know, come, you know come, the you thing is, egg I still think he has all those gigs that are paying him in Orlando. Like, uh, before I don't this, think so. before this came out, he's getting flown to yeah. California too. Well. He was. he was. Oh, so you found out? No, no. Oh. Before we found out, before the world found out about all these charges, you told me you're like, you know the worst part? This guy overnight is up to like 6,000 followers. Yep. And he's getting asked and flown out to TMZ for interviews and everything else. Yep. But public perception is everything, man. It's once you become famous, the first thing they do is people start digging, right? Yep. So now do you think any of these stations finding out he's guilty of all this other Oh, they're stuff? dropping him. Do you think that? Because you gotta remember, what was the uh, what was the uh, mug shot of the one dude that was in jail for like gang stuff, and all the women were like, "Man, he's hot, he's hot," and now oh, he's making yeah. millions oh, the model. of dollars. Yeah, yeah. The model guy. yeah, but that guy didn't want to be famous. They just had his mug shot. <laughs> he's just like, they, "What?" They go, "Yo, look at this hottie <laughs> that we just arrested." And yeah, the bitches he, just he got out of creeping. jail, and he's doing great for no, himself now. Here's the, here's another story: the guy that bet on Tiger Woods to oh, win. Oh yes, he, I heard that one. He Bets like eighty five thousand yeah. dollars, like his last eighty five thousand dollars to win becomes uh, like a, a millionaire. millionaire. Um, eight eighty five hundred dollars. Sorry, I was gonna say his last eighty five thousand dollars. I haven't had my first eighty five thousand dollars. Eighty five hundred and becomes a millionaire, and everybody's like, "Oh, no, good, good, good." And then the research starts. Yeah, on this dude. Chase. Mm. They're like, oh, he has domestic violence issues, and mm. pop, 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 and they just start. Plugging all the dirty. Here's an even worse one. Remember when this Cleveland guy rescued that chick that was being held uh, hostage in the Cleveland house? The black dude that went to McDonald's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was right. that the one where uh, there were like five women? There's five yeah. women in the house. Yeah. And, and, and they're like, oh, I just went to McDonald's. And, and everybody's like, oh, McDonald's should give them free sandwiches and yeah. stuff like that. And then they did a background check. Oh, he on has that some shit dude. too. And McDonald's says, sorry, we can't give him What happened to him? What did he do? Apparently, he, has, he had like a, like a criminal history. See, that's uh, why I don't do good things. That's why I don't do good things. If I'm I like, hear I don't a woman in a house yelling, help me, help me. <laughs> mm-hmm. I've been kidnapped. And like, I can't. I, I might have some history that I don't want. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, the funny thing about the bunny thing is he knew. Like, it wasn't like, because like none of us knew that he had a warrant. No. He knew he had a no, warrant. Come on. No. He robbed someone. No. What? I'm telling you, sometimes you don't know that you have a warrant. Well, he was. He also had an alias going on down here. Oh, okay. I didn't know that one either. Yeah, like when I was reading the article, they're like, he fled Newark is the word. How they old, didn't say he... How old was that warrant? I mean, he's 20 years old, so it had to have been like maybe like a couple of years ago. Like he was 18 maybe. Because I know somebody that had a warrant. And yeah, you know, can have a didn't warrant. didn't know they had a warrant until <laughs> a couple of years later. <laughs> But there's also when... Like, he got away. Like, he got away with it. 
<laughs> and then he came back to the crime scene and then got the caught. The worst thing he did was taking off that rabbit hat. Well, when he when he pulled up to the other bar last night, the police the police came in their bikes <laughs> and they okay. jumped out and they're so, like, "Take off the mask." He was just answering. Take off the mask. Oh, because they realized. And they're like, "Let me. See, we need to see your ID because we don't know." This what you was look that like. other bar. Yeah, I don't know if you saw the video of yeah. like no no the no cops no. stopping him. No, all I I talked to uh, Charlie Bowie. Yeah, and I was like, "Hey man, uh, what went down at other bar?" And he's, I'm. I'm like, you see the bunny? He's like, yeah, I saw the Pass bunny. Me some of those treats. Over He's there. like, <laughs> and I left Twix. when the cops showed up. Give me a couple of Twix. I left when the cops showed up. And then the next thing I know is you're sending me that story of the dude getting arrested. And I was like, did that happen last night? Yeah. Or did that happen well, no. at Other Bar? They happened, they happened last night at Other Bar. Mm-hmm. And they're just, they wanted to see his face. But they didn't take him away. They that, didn't take him they away. They just though. wanted to make They didn't sure. know either. Like okay. nobody knew till so Monday morning. <laughs> here's here's that warrant thing. In September, he and an accomplice allegedly were caught on camera burglarizing a car in South Brunswick, New Jersey. Mm. Cops charged him with burglary and issued a warrant for his arrest. But he allegedly fled the state, according to the Tampa Bay Times. He, he was also him. arrested for allegedly pulling two armed robberies on New Year's Day 2017 in Dover, <laughs> Delaware. Police told the paper uh, he was recently named a person of interest in a carjacking and two armed robberies in Pasco County, Florida. Uh, yeah, TMC's not going to have them over. No arrests. That flight got canceled. Oh, <laughs> look, you got to mention. No arrests were made in Florida beat down before the brawl broke out, McDonald said. He wore the Easter Bunny costume to a comedy show with friends. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, but they didn't name the comedy. Like, nah. Son so. of a bitch. <laughs> hey, other bar. They're open probably going to take his that comedy club. Oh, but this is uh, when they had interviewed him, like originally about what he did, stepping in. This, this is a quote from him. I am the type of person to avoid fights by any means necessary, but <laughs> in that I situation, need, I would fight any day. Unless I need your money. So, <laughs> Give me your wallet. Unless you got a nice ride, I'll take it. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I meant I try to avoid fights by showing them the gun, and that way we don't have to get violent. Look at the bottom of this gun. Whack <laughs> <laughs> Officer, what he did was he put his face into my gun. <laughs> yeah, so, ca- my mother used to walk into my dad's hand a lot. So do I delete my photo? Do I backtrack? I mean, no way. If you had a picture with Hitler, wouldn't you put that up on the wall? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? I would. No. <laughs> yeah, that's me with Hitler. No, it was before he did. I didn't know. Before. That's yeah. when he was an artist. That's know. when he was an artist. I, he just showed okay. me a painting. Okay, I'm not going to lie. It was after, but I just <laughs> met the guy. Everybody else was getting pictures with him. I figured, well, I want to get a picture too. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure Mike has a picture with Gallagher. I do. I do. <laughs> and what's he ever done? Racism. Uh, what? Oh, Get which one? Here. Both of them or the, or the main one? If one does it, the other one does it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They both uh, smash watermelons. The original Gallagher is estranged from his entire family. Is, there, are, is he still alive? Yeah. Oh, okay. I did. I mean, He's I, on I, tour with Artie Fletcher. Yeah. There you go. Your two favorite people in one place. <laughs> yeah. I have a lot of favorite people. Yeah. So, yeah, just real quick, the thing with Gallagher, you remember the Sledgehammer comic? Of course. He got popular, and he was selling out, like, stadiums and stuff. Yeah. Okay? So his brother had no real career, so he okayed his brother to go around and he do got, his old act. Come on, come on, come on. Mm-hmm. Gallagher one was sick or something. No, that's, that's not what that's it, not he true. told me. No, the story he told me. I saw it on E! Hollywood Stories, so <laughs> the, somebody's lying. The story he told me was that it, he, was, he had gotten big. He wasn't doing clubs anymore, like a lot of comics go on to do theaters and bigger venues. And his brother wasn't, didn't have a gig, didn't have a job. He was Gallagher's assistant for a time being. And they look similar. They look oh, very shit. much like. So the, he let his brother go out as Gallagher 2, Gallagher with you know, the Roman numeral two yes. and do his old club act wow. in the smaller clubs. As long as he made it clear that he was a Gallagher kind of like a tribute show. Gotcha. Well, you know how comedy clubs are, man. They're not going to be quick to put up that two. If the difference huh. between selling out that room for seven shows it's is the number two, is the number two. Yeah. So they just started pulling out as Gallagher and the brother didn't put up a fight when they did it. And it all came to a head. I think that we're on Dallas where <laughs> tickets to see Gallagher at the big stadium were like 180 bucks, or you could see him two blocks over for 20 bucks. Well, what they got around it was they would put Gallagher and then put the two 
Night. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how two nights so, became a thing. So basically, Gallagher, uh, the original one, I think his name's Leo. I think the original one. His real name's not even Gallagher? Well, his last name's Gallagher. Oh, okay. That's, <laughs> they both have the last name, okay. obviously, but uh, it's Leo or something. So he basically went and told his brother, hey, you need to knock this off. And the brother didn't. So he sued his brother, and then the family took the took the brother's side. Like, you got all this money. Why can't you just let him go out there? I'm like, dude, I have no money, and I still go after guys who do my material on stage, <laughs> you know? It's, it's fucking ridiculous, but the family estranged him. But Gallagher himself is, like, a really smart dude. Like, he graduated from University of Southern Florida in biochemistry or yeah. bioengineering, and he has, like, eight or nine patents before he even started doing comedy. He already had stuff oh, out there. Damn. But he's also, like, a little bit crazy. So yeah. there's that. Did he say he invented the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? <laughs> is that is that a fact? This is this is the open. Oh my god, I can't believe this. <laughs> we're doing Gallagher I, stories. No, I, yeah, how did this happen? I just, I it just, I'm like, I, okay, we're not gonna talk comedy. When oh god, damn it, we're talking comedy. <laughs> yeah. Every time I try to get out, they pull, pull me, me back, back in. Yeah. Um, we're at the, we're at the why not at the open mic, and mm-hmm. it was one of the saddest things because he's there. Carmen Valone brought him. And we used to have like a group and the group would talk and stuff like that. Okay. And then Gallagher will come to the group and then he'll start telling stories. And then once he starts telling some stories that people are like, this sounds like bullshit. And then <laughs> you start seeing people just walking away. Right. And form a group in another place. Mm-hmm. And then Gallagher will come back in and just say something, another ridiculous fucking thing. Oh, I invented uh, Nano 210 was one of my original ideas. No and, shit. And, but, but the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle thing is... Did he say that? It's, I swear we, on he, my children. We used to go hang out at the Ale House down the road oh, from the Why Not. Me. And uh, <laughs> he, he came in and he sat down. And uh, like anytime the conversation was going somewhere, like someone was stating their views on comedy, he's like, oh, well, I think I would know. I'm on Comedy Central's list of top 100 comics of all times. And he said like five times. And this is before like iPhones and everything. Right. And I went to the bathroom and I called my friend from my Razor flip phone. I'm like, hey, man, you buy your computer? He's like, yeah. I'm like, can you pull up Comedy Central's list of 100 top comics of all times? Oh, shit. And he, Give me half an hour. He's he, <laughs> he, he, Yeah, <laughs> dial up. <laughs> he's like, yeah. I'm like, I'm like where, is, where, where is Gallagher on Comedy Central's list of top 100 comics of all times? And uh, he's like, he is 100. <laughs> I'm like, what? He's like, Janine Garofalo came in 99. Oh. <laughs> so so I, I went out to, and I waited. I waited, and Darren Moore was right there, and I waited. And the next time he said, he's like, well, I think one of us is on the list of Comedy Central's top 100 comics of all times. So I'm like, good thing it wasn't the list of top 99 comics of all times, huh? And he looks at me, he's like, you're a dick. Uh, and then he goes, yeah. but that's why you'll probably make it in this business. Wait, why did he keep saying that? What, you guys kept softballing? No, it was just, he. people were just out having their conversations so about weird. comedy and everything in. else, and another he would just thing, insert himself in. And another thing he would do is he'll just do a line, like, what do you think? You, you want to punch it up? Like, he would give you uh, lines. Like, I'm not writing I'm not writing for you, you it, slick it, motherfucker. It, here's the thing that stood out to me the most. We were sitting outside the Yale house, and uh, he just started going through. They had the ashtrays right there. That's a garbage can with the ashtray on top. And he just started picking butts, Ew. like cigarette butts out. And my buddy goes, dude, I have a cigarette. He's like, I got one too. And just pulls a butt out and oh. like lights it up. But he crossed his legs and I could see the bottom of his shoes. And mind you, this is a Tuesday night. And he's got these shoes on that looks like he was working in the back of the restaurant because it's got, like, all food and everything else. I realize these are probably the shoes he wears on stage when he's smashing pumpkins and watermelons and stuff. And he just walks around in those all week. That's the first time. Because I remember when I was a kid watching his specials and stuff like that. He had the big giant worm that came out the couch. Remember that weird thing? I was like, what is that? It was cool. (laughs) At that time, I was like, yeah. And then I see him, and you know how they say, "Don't meet your, don't meet your hero, yeah. Yeah. don't meet your hero." He, that wasn't, to me with he Pablo. wasn't my hero, but <laughs> it was somebody that I that I enjoyed. you admired. Yeah, yeah you enjoy admired. watching. Whatever. Yeah, and I saw the way he was dressed, and I was like, "Man, this comedy shit is rough." <laughs> <laughs> if this dude made it. Why are you dressed like a homeless person? Imagine what, like, it's... Uh, well... That's when I started to, like, get that, that realization. Believe it or like, not, he lost most of the money he made battling it out in the courts, trying yeah. to get his act back. Yeah. And now he's 
paired up with Artie Fletcher. Uh, I hear that's not always going well for them. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to bring you guys back down no, that it's rabbit okay. hole. It's the same thing, though. My dad used to rent the VC. We talked about it before. My dad used to rent the video cassette machine and rent a couple of VHSs, and he would rent the Gallagher ones. And I loved it because as a kid, I didn't really understand all the comedy, but he'd have like a, a big watermelon. trampoline, yeah. a big bicycle. Yeah. And when I told him, I'm like, yeah, I mean, my dad used to watch. He's like, well, it's nice to know I influenced you. I'm like, oh, yeah. And at the time, you're like, oh, I yeah. calling my dad and stuff. But he told me the reason he did all that was because up until he did that, on HBO and all those stand-up specials. And if you think about it and look back, it's true. It would be a microphone, a black background, and some guy comes out, or girl, and tells jokes for 40 minutes, then walks away. He's like, I wanted to do something. If you notice, you look back now, most of that stuff had nothing to do with his comedy. He just had the budget for it and wanted to give people a visual something to look at. you know. And now even, you can't see a Comedy Central thing without the whole background being done for this one comic or something like that. Yeah. You know? So he did bring a thir- certain amount of theatrics to stand up. So that's kind of cool. But I had a Gallagher came carrot top. <laughs> <laughs> I, I 100% believe a lot of that. But I mean, uh, his his last couple of times I saw him stand up live, I think even that weekend when I went to the Why Not, he wasn't even smashing his own shit anymore. He'd bring up people out of the audience. You can't to, pick up the hammer. Yeah. <laughs> his it, arthritis that's probably kicked part in. of it. Damn it. <laughs> and you know what? Dude, if you can't pick up the hammer, yo, <laughs> talk <laughs> about, do a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> talk about a bit that defines you, though. He didn't even, he did that one night, and the way that whole sledgehammer thing was a bit he did at the comedy store. And it was just basically mocking late night television, you know, all the, hey, get your new Vegematic, get your yeah. new. So it was like, it it slices, it dices, it whacks. It so he did that one night at the Comedy Store. And Mitzi Shore, Pauly Shore's mother, who was the owner of the Comedy Shore, was like, that's your new I thing. I like it. So, <laughs> so, and back then, I guess in the uh, late 70s, early 80s, you got that one thing and that's who you are yeah. now. You can't change, you know. Well, think about it. If, if you think back then, it was like everybody had like uh, what was like it? Sam Kinison was Dino the screaming Knight. guy. Yeah, yeah. Sam and Kinison had the the yelling part. Oh, and oh, oh. Yeah. Andrew Dice Clay was a totally different comic, kind of like what happened with Larry the Cable Guy. Dice Clay was a character. Yeah, that was that was a character. Dude, again, I like you. I like you. I couldn't reach over the headphones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and now and now look at him. That was a great character for you know what the 1990s, late 80s, early 90s. That was like okay. But now you look at Dice Clay on stage and the stuff he goes up there saying is nothing you don't hear at open mics. It's like you're not shocking anymore. I heard this other kid. I'm from, just shocked. I heard he a 21 year old talk about <laughs> ass eating for 15 yeah. minutes the other day. You I know? put a pussy on my head like a hat. Oh, I'm like, did you? But did you play with your father's dick in the shower? Because I know a kid that has a joke that's killing with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all uh, the greats. Back then, it was like just get pitched because you didn't have Instagram and all that. You got to find that one thing that's going to make you famous and known now. Or a guy was Paulo Francisco. Or a lie that nobody talks about. Your guy about. was Paulo Francisco. Hey, well, he was really. Yeah, me and me and Sanchez introduced me to Paulo Francisco, and I watched his special. So you watched like, every comic special. No, Pablo's was like weekly. <laughs> like it was the one he was at Irvine. Mm-hmm. Oh man, I was like, this comedy is amazing. And then what happened? And then I met him. <laughs> and then I was like, oh no. What he do? Mm-hmm. That, that just minute. I didn't realize how much drugs he does. Oh yeah. When I, I like, when I was uh, oh, no. when I was working. Was it allergies? It wasn't allergies. No, it wasn't allergies. <laughs> when I was working down at the Palm Beach Improv, uh, when I was just doing open mics and starting out, they made us sign a waiver when he was coming through or a contract that we would not help him. Yeah. find drugs or alcohol you know if he Holy asks us shit. i'm like why don't you get him to sign a contract saying yeah. he well, won't I, do drugs or I, alcohol i told this story before but do you know the story about when i got to do a guest spot with him no at the improv and mm-hmm. what happened to me in the green room no what happened, what <laughs> happened? did he touch you no he didn't touch me Are you mad <laughs> for the record that? he didn't touch me are you upset no <laughs> yeah no, wait what he went through your <laughs> backpack just, no man. no he didn't go through my backpack <laughs> so, um yeah because uh krista comes up to me she's like no drinks no kind of smoking in the green room. I'm like, all right, right. that's cool, whatever. So Alex is, uh, you know, hanging out with Pablo in the green room. We're just kind of bantering up, talking shit. Mm-hmm. And uh, he goes, yeah, you want to go up tonight? I go, yeah, cool. And he goes, all right, man. And then Alex gets up, I get up, and he goes, hey, man, when I'm on stage, uh, bring me a vodka Red Bull. Mm. It slipped me on the stage. Just put you in that position. Yeah, and I look at Alex, and I was like, kind of does like that, you're on your own, kid, and just leaves me. Really? Yeah, and like, you mother. So did you just bring him up a Red Bull? So... No, so this is what happened. Mm-hmm. So I was kind of like, I was like, shit, do I do it or not do no. it? No. Mm-hmm. Calm down. <laughs> so 
I, I walk away. Alex, Alex is on stage and uh, I'm back in the green room. He's like, hey, man, you gonna give me that drink? Mm. And I was like, man, I don't know, man. He's like, come on, man, come on, give me. I was like, all right, fuck. So I went, <laughs> went to the bar. I, got, I come walking with a Red Bull and, and vodka. Pablo's standing by the door, mm -hmm. ready to go up. Mm -hmm. And Chris goes, where are you going with that? I go, nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink Red Bull, by the way. It hurts. <laughs> I, drove, I drove like that, like right in front of Pablo. Mm. Mm, that was delicious. Yeah, because <laughs> that guy gets to leave Monday. You still got to live and work in that club. Yeah. Did I down that right? And he's not taking you with him. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, man, he's uh, he really does. And then he did his set. and You know what I would it do? Was just, it was just kind of sad because <laughs> he just kept repeating the same old jokes. Oh, did he go in the loop? Did no. You, have you ever seen that clip well, when he went on That loop? was sad. That was that sad. That loop thing was different from, like, you're talking about he's doing the same jokes he had been doing for years. He, that? And or then did like, he lose his place and repeat He lost couple? his place. Okay, because yeah. that loop thing the was The loop thing was, was bad, but then in the improv, he lost his place. He did the same jokes twice. Little, little tortilla boy. Yeah, and then he just does, like, the, the moaning Movie girl boys. sound. No. The Ow! Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Dude, for, like, five minutes, people are like, it's like, I'm out. I'm tapping. And they just, people are walking yeah, out. And I'm not. just like, holy shit, what is going on here? I've never seen some shit like this. And yeah, it's funny. He went down to Miami after he worked in Palm Beach. And I guess there, same thing, they were asked to sign the contracts. He slipped out. And this was back when uh, the Miami Improv was in Coconut Grove. Yeah. And not a, not a great area around there after you walk two blocks in the opposite direction. Yeah. And he went there and tried to buy some Coke, and he gave some dudes some money on the corner, and the guy popped him in the face and ran Oh, off. Jesus. So undeterred, he went to the ATM, got more money, walked around with the play nose, went back to the same area. Well, at least he got Coke. the same reaction that Coke would give him. <laughs> 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 but, um, but he's a nice guy. I mean, it really, really is. This, this, like, this is my third or third time meeting him. This, this is my and favorite, he's though. He's coming back, and I want to meet up again. <laughs> pa Pablo, a friend of ours, or used to be a friend of ours, a comic we worked with a lot, went out to L.A. a while back. And uh, he he was having first some name. problems on stage. First name or last name? You no, know, he was having some problems. What's on it stage. Ryan with? <laughs> yeah. he, <laughs> Come on, we're throwing names all over the yeah. place. Eric, yeah, <laughs> you're missing the point of the story. Merrick, you, <laughs> Merrick Ayers, you're missing the point of the story. So he what was we defending that guy. He, he was uh, talking shit about Orlando Comics. Yeah, did you see what I put? Yeah, yeah. Well, that I was thought a, it was pretty good. That was I didn't see what you put, but I oh, shot. you didn't see what I put? No, no. I don't. Uh, he he had put um. What? That's who we talking about? Yeah. Okay. He he had, we got it. He had put, congratulations teamwork. by the way. He's a he had put. He's oh, I can't wait to leave Orlando back to L. A. Yeah. I got offered a new TV deal. Screw Orlando, yeah. basically, in the so hacky rude. comics. I was, I and, like the rude comment, that's when I realized yeah. it wasn't him. Yeah. Yeah. Like and, and I wrote, because uh, he, he wrote, oh, I'm out there doing another TV show. I'm like, I didn't know Intervention was doing another season. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, it's a reunion. <laughs> so anyways, this guy goes out there. He's having problems. He's got his own issues to deal with. He's missing shows. And I hear that Pablo Francisco calls him over to his house oh. to sit him down and explain to him he oh, needs shit. to sell down. When Pablo Francisco <laughs> Is telling you wow. you're going too hard on shit. You got Ooh. issues, man. He's doing good now, man. He's engaged and all that shit. So whatever. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? Yeah, why are we talking nice about somebody bash the city? If somebody else comes over well, here because now and bash the city, all you motherfuckers jump on that motherfucker. <laughs> like I'm not termite. defending him. Because, I just like whatever. Oh, he's not, Beca he's because doing so much better. You know what? Like, suck my dick sideways. <laughs> <laughs> because now there's now there's question to whether it was his post. Or, I got unfriended right after them. I responded. Yeah. So. <laughs> so, so, but that's normal. That's normal for our relationship. Uh, I don't know. Did he apologize for the posting? No. Then suck my dick from the back. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of back going through there. Yeah. Too. Um, it's okay. He doesn't listen. Keep staring at those stupid headphones they gave you. <laughs> uh, so you guys excited? You, who you guys gonna make it out to Endgame? This weekend? Oh, oh shit. I'm Anyone going, got tickets? I, I got to buy bought. tickets for Monday. This it's, guy's a douche. No, this guy would, bought like a row of a, a theater genius. for just him. A, row? a genius. More of a genius. Tell us. You selling tickets? You ask No, me? I'm not selling tickets. He's but just gonna I realize <laughs> you can make you can buy your tickets in advance and make yeah. reserves. Fuck it. I bought three tickets and no one needs to sit next to me. You asshole. <laughs> what? What do you mean I'm asshole? You're not taking your girl? She's not here, so who cares? I don't <laughs> Really? So Hell yeah. It's going so you're gonna go and two empty seats are gonna be there? Well, now it's gonna be one because my buddy like begged me, so I'm taking I'm taking So you're him. taking Mike? What day are you going? No, I'm not taking Mike. What you're not you taking Mike. You're not taking me? <laughs> no, I'm taking you're gonna go with your Who kids. Are you taking? What day are you going? Uh, I'm going Saturday. Oh uh, yeah, I can't go. Yeah, Thanks for Monday. not asking. <laughs> Monday's the earliest I can I'm, find. I bought three tickets. My buddy's coming with me. 
Mm-hmm. And then so we're just gonna and one sick. lucky wa- Patreon winner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one lucky Patreon winner. <laughs> yeah, bids are going now. Whoever signs up for our Patreon, you am actually going to a raffle. You can sell that ticket. It's on Saturday. Nobody wants a Saturday ticket. Thursday is sure. what they want. Dude, nah, you'll be good. You can sell tickets. Opening so. weekend. You're I'm, good. I'm taking my plushy toys of Thanos and oh, my, shit. Just <laughs> my lay toys. Them there. Just lay them right there. Yeah. What's nice. those pillows that the anime guys buy? <laughs> like, oh it's yeah, gonna lay one the body down. pillow. This is my girlfriend, and she's gonna enjoy the movie with me. Yeah, the I I can't go, dude. I got uh, for the first time since they've been born. I got the kids to myself for the entire weekend. And you can't you can't get to go. I didn't know this was happening. Uh, basically, oh, you uh, didn't. Uh, did you miss the the whole advertisement that's been going on for two years? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. I didn't know I was gonna have the kids to myself this oh, weekend. Oh, okay. Because uh, basically, uh, their mom's brother and wife just had their first baby. Okay. So we were gonna go up in the summer to visit. Usually, we take a trip up in the summer. I visit my family in Connecticut. They visit their family in New York. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, she was so excited about this baby. I'm like, do you want to go up and see the baby? And she's like, well, no, we'll be up there in the summer. I'm like, it's your brother's kid. You're excited. Do you want to go see, you know, women okay. and kids? I'll sell three and, wallets. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, yeah, I told her, I told her, check out airline tickets. And the first thing she sent me back was like, because this was, we discussed this Easter. First class jet blue. <laughs> Delta. Ooh. And this was, she's fancy. going this weekend. I proposed on Easter she should go up. So she sends me the screenshot of like Delta prices being six fifty with like a little frowny like oh it's expensive. Wait, wait, I'm wait, like wait, bitch, wait, you're wait. flying like I fly. Frontier, <laughs> frontier, <laughs> spirits worse. Fifty. No, that was for like Delta because it's a last minute. Oh, you know? so Yikes. so she found something on Frontier. I found something on Frontier round trip with the uh, one carry on everything else. <laughs> Thirty bucks. Uh, hundred hundred and fifty eight hundred and seventy eight. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, you can go do that. Not counting luggage. But now I got. <laughs> Now I got the kids all to myself, which, sh- you know, I go on the road a lot and she's got the kids, but I don't even think about it. But now with me and the kids, I'm always the cool parent who swings in. We do three hours of fun stuff and I go away, you know, but now I'm like, <sighs> now you got to do a full dad. How full do you dad. do it? How do you do it? Uh, you just got to make sure none of them end up in the hospital. <laughs> That's your only goal. That's I it. know that they eat three times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Two, sometimes twice is okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, like like snacks. Like you go get yeah, graham crackers. You just and gotta that's make lunch. sure they eat lunch, yeah, breakfast mm-hmm. and dinner. Mm-hmm. But sometimes they'll sleep till noon, so you can skip your lucky to skip breakfast. Right? <laughs> that's no, these these lunch. kids are up at like seven or eight, but it's to play Xbox. Yeah, so you gotta make sure they eat. So. Yeah. So you're not gonna go take them to them see them? Well, she has three hours. I might take them. Shazam. That's like seventy bucks to take a, f- a family of three. Yeah, but usually I'm stuck taking the other one too, so I'm saving money by her not being here. Go oh. matinee. It's no, like, it, it's the thing is, is that it's hard to find seats, bro. I mean, oh, yeah, you scattered one, out. I might win a park. The theater I go is the Winter Park Village. And yeah, there's no seats until Monday. I go to the. Oh, uh, I can't wait, man. I go to the old seats by myself. The reclining one. I, that, I love those theaters. <laughs> yeah. I hope that movie fucking cuts in the middle. Hey, I will hey, say that. That's not nice. The days of just walking up, like when I see people when I get to the movie theater and I see people walking up to the box office, I'm like, dude, you didn't get your tickets yeah. like this morning at crazy? four and pick your seats. Like I've actually come around to loving being able to sign on the night before and go, bam, bam, bam. These wait, are my seats. You're talking to somebody. <laughs> 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 are you in the 80s? <laughs> mm-hmm. I love this new reserve seating, yeah. man. Yeah. Now it. the problem that I have is is the the whole service fee kind of thing. Yeah, but but, but the convenience is there. I also noticed a lot of people are coming in super late. Like 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 I went to go watch Shazam, and I I went in I walked in like ten minutes late and like the Dude, previews, the, whole, the trailers are still going. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this is perfect. It's <laughs> half hour trailers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the movie's supposed to start eight thirty. The movie doesn't really start till nine o'clock. Yep. So yeah, and you have your seat reserved. You know oh, when you're perfect. sitting. It's perfect. You know what. You know what, though? Like, all the theaters I go to, like, when they pull up the chart, yeah, I kind of like what they do with, like, concerts at stadiums and stuff where you can get the video view of where your seat is and what your view is going to be like. Because a lot of these movie theater seats, you can't tell the sizes till you get there. So you're like, yeah. oh, I pick middle row. And when you get to the theater, middle row is, like, really up top <laughs> level back. Here's another thing. Row F and G are the top. Are the Here, best. Here's the thing, uh, movie theaters. I mean, that's I know. Uh, Let's get rid of the... F- First two rows. Oh, yeah. the, the up the, front. Yeah. Let's get rid uh, of those two rows because nobody's buying those two rows. You idiots! Either move the <laughs> either move the screen back, 
or get rid of those two rows. They are when it sells out. People are going, like, oh, guess we're taking those two rows. Dude, but it's the, the worst experience. You know why I hate to? When I, when I go and I'm picking my things on the seating chart, if it's like, okay, there's two people sitting right here, I'm going to pick my two seats over here. It's an empty movie theater. I'm going to move. I hate when it's an empty movie theater and there's still motherfuckers. There's six of us and two of them chose seats after <laughs> me right in front yeah. of us. It's like, you knew what this was. And no, I'm not moving my seat. Keep trying to lean back. Keep trying to lean back. You're going to get But those days foot. are over. No, not in all theaters. Some theaters actually have, like Disney, downtown Disney, still have the, they don't have recliners. So they got the seats that, like. Oh, no, F that, seats. man. I'm, I'm, yeah. I, no, when you get recliners. those recliner seats, I don't care who's sitting where, dude. It's uh, like, this don't is my own Nobody personal. bothers you. Oh, I have my great. oh I, I can't go into regular There better not be theaters. a baby at Endgame. I'm going to lose my shit. There will be. If someone brings their kid. I hope there's a baby. No. One. I hope there's no. three babies. No. <laughs> I hope there's a baby and they put the baby stuff in the empty seat next no, to you. No, I bought it. That's my, I, have my life. I hope there's five babies. No. Like I got them in no. Infinity Stone. No. They just I hope it's unsupervised children. No. Oh, my God. No. Running up and down yeah. the no, aisle. No. It is yeah. West Oaks, but no. Oh, oh you got them in West Oaks? Yeah, yeah you can't sell those. No, no. no one's buying those. No one's buying those things. I, I better not. There better not be a baby. Mm-hmm. I remember, I remember kids running up and down in movie theaters uh, back in the day. Yeah, I I always loved. I went to, when I went to see um, Batman, mm-hmm. Which Dark one? Knight, Dark Knight. Okay, thank you. Um, there's a kid, there's a baby crying like mm-hmm. in the first opening. Where the Joker, yelled, where the who Joker, yelled, who yelled, yeah, shut all of a sudden, fuck up. oh, just some big dude, shut that fucking baby up or get the fuck out. Mm-hmm. She got out. I was like, everyone was like, what? Yeah, I was like, that was, that was it. That was it. Uh, the Fashion Square used to have a movie theater by where the Chinese buffet used to be. Now there's a Dick's uh, Sporting Goods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. They used to have a movie theater there. Yep. It's uh, more urban. It was shady, man. A little urban. Yeah, it was a little, a little urban. urban. Yeah, yeah. So, so it was a Chinese Angel, place. When me and Angel were in college, uh, we went to see any given Sunday there. <laughs> and one guy in the middle of the movie guy goes, yo, man, shut the fuck up to the guy in front of him. The guy in front of him got up, gave him a nice two piece, pop, pop. <laughs> the guy sat down and watched the movie. <laughs> which I was, at that time, I didn't even bother watching the movie. I was just focusing on the guy. How are you going to sit? You just got punched in the face. Leave. Either fight or leave. Leave. Yeah, Don't like, stay there with your girl. And he was with his girl. It was like a row behind him that he got, like. The guy, okay, so the guy that punched him is sitting in front of him. And I guess the the black guy was talking. <laughs> okay. And uh, the light skin guy. Okay. Uh, just got upset and defending the girl's honor or whatever. Got it was. you. Dude, Yo, shut the fuck up. The guy got up, turned around, pop, pop. Two piece combo. Two piece combo, bro. No, no drink. And it's like that two piece <laughs> starching combo that you know when you get when you hit somebody and they like. Yeah. Oh, they, they, did like, I just get hit in the like, face? <laughs> like, yes, you did. It's like that Mike Tyson point when they when they start going. <laughs> and then they just like they sit there. The little like, star and that's your point. That's your time. You're supposed to go crazy. Throw the uppercut. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a great game. <laughs> what a great. Oh, what a never great game. Never beat it. Game. Never beat the damn game. Can it, couldn't beat Mike Tyson. No, couldn't. I never even. Really? Did, did you beat Mike Tyson? You I beat Mike Tyson. I, I beat Shut it on up. Wii. Yeah. You cheated. No. Dude, it's, it's all Wait, patterns. On the Wii? Yeah, it's Wait, did you have to move? It's not called. It's not called Mike Tyson's Punch Out anymore. It's oh, so Mike. you didn't fight Mike Tyson? No, no it's st- it's still Mike Tyson, but they don't call him Mike Tyson. So it's it, not it, Mike Tyson. That's not my, that's not Mike Tyson. It has to be Mike. It's Tyson. just some black guy. Do you yeah. know it was it was never Mike Tyson? <laughs> yes, right? it, was no, Mike it was Mike Tyson. Tyson. It had the gap and everything in the game. Yeah, no. and that's what they still got, but they call it something. Else. Yes, so you didn't fight Mike Tyson. You you didn't fight Mike Tyson. You didn't fight Mike Tyson. I fight Mike Tyson. I, I even had, had Mario watch me and count. Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. I, had the uh, Nintendo I, I told the real Mike Tyson to keep it down in an elevator one day. You did not. I did too. No, you didn't. Shut up. 100%. I know you're fucking crazy. Swear to God. And you you nope. have road rage, but nope. there's no you way. Said it Swear to God. Fucking crazy. Swear to God. You Got witnesses. Jokingly. Got witnesses. You told Iron Mike Tyson. Yes, I did. To How? shut the fuck up. And then yep. you ran. And No, because it was elevator all the way down. Like At what story were you and then what level was he? Okay. So here's what happened. My buddy Jay Gibbons no. was getting married at the Venetian in Las Vegas. Uh-huh. Okay. So we go out there, and he's got the bridal suite at the Venetian on the top floor. You need that special pass to get up there. <laughs> so we're up there all just having drinks the night before the wedding and everything. And the neighbors are like, boom, 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 boom. 
just playing music. So the next morning we go out, we all go in the elevator, get down. There's only two rooms up there. The guy who gets on the elevator is Mike Tyson and two of his guys. So we're in the elevator and the doors close and it's all quiet. I'm like, you're so- in the elevator with Mike Tyson and yeah. his, his entourage. Yeah. And my buddy Jay Gibbons, who's getting married the next morning. Okay. So uh, there's silence. And I just turn and go, so you guys got the other room up here, huh? He's like, yeah. I'm like, could you keep it down? You were kind of loud last night. And Mike just started laughing. He's like, where are we? I'm so sorry. And that was it. All right. So you didn't say shut the oh, fuck up. Yeah. I said it in my way. <laughs> you, Mr. Mr. Tyson, can you please? What would you? Yeah. Were you guys? That's oh, as you, close to shut the were, fuck up were, as you get. Were you, guys, were you guys partying hard last night? You guys are crazy. Okay. Just, yeah, Look, just when crazy. it's my Mexican neighbors behind me on fucking Christmas, they you get shut the fuck up. this white dude. That's who you fought. That oh, let me dude. see the bullshit guy he fought. That fucking no, white that's dude. Not. Oh, he fought Glass Jaw Eddie or whatever. No, fuck. whatever <laughs> that fucking that's white dude bootleg Mike Tyson. No, that's not him. That's not I him. know it's not him. <laughs> That's not the guy I fought. That's the, the, we will is, post pictures. This is Mike Tyson. That's who I fought. That's Tyson. See, that's, that's fucking Tyson. Look, at, look how big yeah, he is. I fought that Even guy. in the game, he's a monster. Yeah. And the name is Mike Tyson. No, it's just you called fought Punch. Glass, now they call it like Glass Mr. Jaw Wonderful Joe or, whatever, or some shit yeah. like that. That's what, yeah, that's what it's called now. It's Punch Out, and they don't use the Mike Tyson name, but you fight that same character at the end. Yeah. But yeah. it's, Mike, it's not, it's Mike, not Tyson. Mike Tyson. It's what we're saying. What it's do you the mean? same uh, fucking moves. It's the it's same. Not the, the same, same Michael. Move. And you hate cheating. He had the Wii, so he can be like fucking moving. Uh, like, so I yeah, could. No, you got to no, do it. No, you had to do it. Yeah, damn that shit. Itty bitty controller. Yeah, with that little. And you're getting carpal tunnel because it's like number When 12. we were in the cave playing with the rocks and the sticks and the fire, you don't know what it's like. <laughs> be, be, be. You guys are so fucking old right now. I'm not fucking old. I'm you're just so saying. fucking petty. I just, I, I just want you to know we're that you did not fight Mike Tyson. No, I you, did. don't, you, you didn't. Did I did. You didn't. You didn't fucking fight Mike Tyson. I think people in the internet will agree that you did not fight you Mike fought, Tyson. You, you no, fought. Really? Bootleg. You're gonna put this you to fought, the. You you're gonna put this to the court. You want to put on the poll. You want to put this to the jury of the wise of the people internet. of the internet. Yes. yes. <laughs> the ones who thought the bunny was a did hero. Mike That's where you want to go. Fight Mike Tyson. I'll tell you what. I take out the bunny. I'll tell. Yeah. I, I I can take I think you can take that. I bunny. think I can take the bunny. <laughs> is he in a bunny can... suit? I will wear my Elmo suit. He will wear the oh. bunny suit. <laughs> Mascot <Kobe>. fight. <laughs> <laughs> Mascot fight. Just gonna go. That's how you're gonna go viral, baby. That'd be great. Go I down need something, man. Next Monday, come down to Elmo suit and just no, beat the you shit need out to somebody. Get, here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> here's All the right, plan. So uh, Easter's over. Yeah. What's uh, the next holiday? Memorial Day. All right. I dress like a flag. I, I don't know. <laughs> like a flag. <laughs> Like I get one of those body no, suits of the American like a, flag. Like a grill. Captain America. Like a grill, like a cookout. Dress like a grill, like a cookout. <laughs> uh, and you give them the one, two, five, right. chicken leg, and a Someone's due for a smoking. <laughs> yeah, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Me so and my tongs of justice. <laughs> oh, you got single the mile. How about that? Single the oh, mile. Uh, that's that's mile. all you. That's all me. That's all you. You wear the sombrero, the little bandolier. Yeah, you got the tequila set. shots. Tequila shots. Yeah. Yeah. Put some Tabasco in your holster. And then I, uh, that's how I go viral. I'll throw Tabasco in someone's like eye. Like pepper spray. That's robbing some chick for mm-hmm. a pizza. You think that they, because I'll dress up like the chick and Pedro will be the homeless guy and we'll just do a reenactment <laughs> right outside. I don't think sacks. that's going to work it's well. Gonna work I might get well. power bombed on the street. Yeah. I'll be the biggest homeless guy out there. Yeah. You're like that so homeless healthy. That the, homeless guy eats rats. He's <laughs> um <laughs> The last thing I want to do is get choked slammed. Here's what's going to happen. In a and this is my belief on this because of this stupid rabbit guy and now everybody's just everybody just wants to be famous kind mm-hmm. of thing. So we're going to see a plethora Oh, of characters? Of, of characters going around. So you're going to see... It's going to be like Mystery Men. No, just shit, all gonna no, come out no of the lie. You're going to see it in, Me- in uh, Cinco de Mayo. You're going to see somebody. May the 4th, you're going to see like a dancing Vader or, or whatever Chewy. the fuck it is. Mm-hmm. Or Chewie. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you're going to start seeing this and it's just... And the homeless are fucked because they're going to get beat up. Yeah. So it's going to be like a It's basically because... like a new version of Bum Fight Celebrity Edition. <laughs> yeah. yeah, pretty much. Well, that's why in New York, that's what happened in New <laughs> Character York. Character Bum Vegas, Fight. And in Vegas, when we were in Vegas, those bootleg uh, They're so characters. scary. They're not they're they're fight. so scary. No, but they fight yeah, straight They up. fight the for their turf. And they, and they for fight their corner. You if you don't... And they're aggressive. They come up and before you know it, they got their arm around you. Take a picture, take a picture. And then they're like, that's five bucks. Yep. And I'm like, 
For what? And I don't like, want to pick. Give me five bucks, I'll fuck you in the ass. Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> What'd you say, Mickey Mouse? Listen <laughs> here, bootleg SpongeBob. <laughs> what the hell? You're not even a square. <laughs> and he's blue. <laughs> it's yeah. like, what the hell? You're like Lufa. <laughs> you're like Lufa Bill. <laughs> uh, it's just weird, man. Yeah, the Vegas one. They have it in New York, too. I've never been to New York. Yeah, New York have. and Times Square, they all New know. York was crazy, though, because in New York, the only person you would see in, in Times Square was the naked cowboy. Mm -hmm. Is he still doing that? <laughs> Bro, he franchised that shit. Yeah. Really? Is he like rich off of that? Well, yeah. like then there became the Naked Indian, then they used to hang out together for a little bit. <laughs> naked Indian. There so Puerto be, Rican with a good there, tan? There was Naked Cowgirl for a while, but now if you go to but Times he Square. Her. He did he really? Her. Yeah, he sued her for, <laughs> for, for being naked. Infringement. Well, because infringement and stuff like that. Like He's, he copyrighted it? Yeah. Fucking when hilarious. I used to work at MTV, that's how we knew if it was too cold to wear a, a coat outside. If, if he, he wasn't was, working? If he wasn't working, it's like, <laughs> eh, no, it's too cold. Get a coat. <laughs> <laughs> Look, sweater weather's back. Yeah. Uh, How's the weather outside? Naked Cowboy's playing. All right, let's go. I only know him from MTV. That's the only reason. Some of those. Because he played right across the right in front of uh, the building. You can go down to Vegas and it by the... By the nicer casinos, they actually put a little effort sometimes. Like those characters, or they'll have a breakdancing team or something like that. But once you get down to the Fremont Street, there's people Ooh. in costumes you can't even recognize what they're supposed to be. They look like they bought their ninja costume from Walgreens at Halloween. Yeah, where season. do they get these costumes? They're like, I'm a samurai. Dude, you can order them from uh, e uh, Dude, EJ. EJ will give you the website. What the hell is EJ? I, I, Enos. You know Miss Enos. Oh. I know Miss EJ from the U. Dude. Okay. <laughs> I have a legitimate birthday party Elmo costume. You've seen it. Yeah, I've seen his it. character. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's but, good. It, but it looks it's, like Elmo. It's better than 90% of the yes, stuff out yeah, there. Yes. Yeah. So he, because he has a Kung Fu, he had a Kung Fu Panda one. Mm -hmm. oh, he wore it to uh, that he, Halloween or whatever. That yeah, really that good. he would go into for the radio station and, and be like the, the, pan, the panda guy. He would yeah. get this outfit from China. Yeah. Uh, oh. A lot of them come from South America. Like they, like I can show you pictures later. They show the factory because when they show the pictures, and some of some of it's just. We did a poo has a scar, it has a yeah. teardrop. <laughs> what? It, it comes An MS thirteen tattoo. <laughs> it comes loaded with cocaine in the book. Yeah. You That's the only thing. Yeah. Oh, oh, Chris. That's how Robin. they get it into the country. Oscar, he has to see the Winnie the Pooh costume before but, you get it. But sometimes, like back, because I had thought for a while, like before I moved from Port St. Lucie, of doing like you know that characters for birthday parties business where you get college kids to dress up and you charge like 300 bucks and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be that scumbag. But some fun times is to go online, go on eBay or go on these uh, sites that sell the costumes and try and guess what character they thought they were making. Because some of these are fucking horrible. Dude, yeah, dude. I can't imagine. They're scary. Like if you showed up with this costume at this kid, the kids would cry. <laughs> like this is Fred Flintstone. I'm like, no, that's a piece of shit. <laughs> in, in Vegas, in Vegas, at least when I was there, it, uh, like you see like Winnie the Pooh, Elmo, had like a bike tire uh, <laughs> mark in his chest. Yep. Like it's not clean. They, and got, they got cum. As someone, just, <laughs> oh. as someone who worked at Disney in characters, what character that level? I would, oh no, that level oh, no, of don't professional get training. It. When you're walking down uh, the Vegas Strip and you see Mickey and Minnie just take their heads off because they need a drink of yeah. water and they're taking a quick smoke and a kid walks by and they're like, you want picture? We put head back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me finish this beer. <laughs> what character were you? Oh, no. like, uh, well, Here technically, we nobody's Chip ever a character. I was, fr I was friends with some of the characters. So I was friends with Buzz Lightyear, Rafiki, <sighs> Pooh Beer, and... and and I know you were waiting for me to bring this up. Go ahead. You know, in Toy Story 2. Oh, oh no. Story. Yes, yes, oh, yes, yes. No. The, cover, the cover on the video uh -huh. with Woody doing the yeah. two the, fingers the bunny behind, ears behind. Yeah. Behind Buzz. This is the bunny episode. Yeah. Uh, I, I remember you I did created that. that. Yeah. And he, that, he, he created took it for the song. sequel. Yeah. Yep. I got written up twice for doing that at Disney before Toy Story 2 but came out. But they took it. And they took it, and then it was totally acceptable. <laughs> and that's why I say Gallagher invented teenage <laughs> he found his he found his teenage yep. mutant ninja story to yep. tell kids at an alehouse in 2020 hey, all I'm all I'm saying all I'm I saying, invented the sequel poster all I'm saying Toy 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 is Toy. imitation in the is the sincerest form of flattery and I'm tired of being flattered by everybody uh. Pay me. I can't help Give it. Give me Disney Pay me. First, first Disney, then local comics. Are you not going to go watch Toy Story 4 because of this? Yeah. Of course I'm going to. It's about no, a fucking sport. Why wouldn't you go see a movie? He didn't know this. Actually, when <laughs> I was... Flair's going to be like, I did this. <laughs> Woo! 
<laughs> when I was six years old, I took a spork and I tied a little pipe cleaner around it and drew googly eyes. Oh, Jesus eyes Christ, because he drew the spork character that's in the movie now, yep, too. Yeah, that was all mine. That's all you. Yep. All right. Yep. <laughs> oh, Mike. Yep. Hey, are King you done that- shuffling through the candy there, you raccoon? King. Well, I, I asked for <laughs> meats and cheeses. And, was, and you got and me. And you put out Easter candy. And you candy. just gave me fructose. And, that's not and even from Easter. That's from Halloween. But those Twix bars are looking good while you're You want there. some Twix bars, too? Toss me a Twix bar. Oh, no. Fucking Mike is the king of hey, bad you're gonna, timing. You're going to jack up my Daft Punk edition headphones there, man. You keep Those are some Tron looking. <laughs> they are Tron. Oh, is that what it's supposed to be? Yes. It's uh. Thank you. It's a it's a Tron exclusive uh, Beats by Dre uh, headphones or monsters or whatever. Say, no, it isn't. It says Daft Punk. Is da- whatever. Yeah, but Daft Punk did Tron, so it's a did Tron. they? Yes, yeah. they did Tron the movie. Tron they did the whole soundtrack. Really, the, I didn't the second know one. Oh, okay. Yeah, they were famous at that time. Mm. Uh, I bet you people love it hearing you guys smacking chocolate. This is for the ASMR uh, people. Uh, uh, mm. 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 What's that called? He just said it. We did an episode ASMR? on that. Yeah. yeah, the whispering mm. people and yeah, I like that. that. I like listening uh, to that stuff. Uh, I like pimple popping. Is that what you? Is that your technique? You put your nose on it and just rub it in mm. there. It uh, works. Uh, <laughs> God gives you a big nose. You got to use it. Wait, wait, did you just put the? <laughs> did you just put your neck on it for the swallowing effect? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Gross. Perfect. Somebody's jerking off to this right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you can get on the Patreon, by the great. way. <laughs> make sure you make sure you send my, your, your, your thank you to so, Rick and Gorilla I've, on Twitter. You know, I've been working on being like more adult with finance stuff. <laughs> yes. How's that I've, going? Terrible. <laughs> How's that um, going? What does but, that constitute? Being more grown up with finance? Like, I, I haven't not spent at McDonald's. Checkbook? Just to catch you up a little bit, I uh, haven't done any planning for retirement. Always thought I'd have that one or two years of success and just stash that money away, but now that's not going to happen. So now I'm kind of worried about having stuff set up for the kids. So I've been looking into like the um, retirement funds and stuff like that, you know, and uh, I don't have life insurance right now because I was hoping I could get them like an easy million dollar payout or something like that. So I was looking into getting life insurance, but then I realized it's whenever someone gets life insurance that people who have life insurance die sooner than people without life insurance. Ah. Like, like, I've been watching a lot of snaps. But how can you get life insurance? What value do you have? Well, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right, I'm done for this. <laughs> hey, that was episode yeah. 61 <laughs> podcast. Uh, thank you, guys. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> well, it's just, it's just like life insurance is like kind of putting a bounty on your own head. You know, that's what it is. Well, you get, that's you how that. you're thinking about it with your black cloud. Yeah. I'm just saying, I watched a lot of snapped and forensic files. Oh, and boy. whenever someone gets a life insurance policy, it's always like a year later. Nigga, that your accident, kids are not the Menendez brothers. <laughs> accidents <laughs> start happening. People. <laughs> 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 You think your kids are going to be plotting? plotting I do. For $10,000. I do. I do. Dude, if you saw the way we live, 10000 would be a bonus. We right get now. to keep the Elmo suit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Finally. <laughs> People start falling upstairs. Like antifreeze starts making it into coffee. Get the fuck You're out starting of to here. shoot oh. yourself with a gun you never owned with oh. a hand you never Mike, used. Mike, fuck Mike, it. Mike, Mike, Mike. Mm. They don't. First of all, mm-hmm. it's not. It's, Ten thousand dollars. It's mm-hmm. it's not that much. No. And whoever's gonna murder you, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be for ten thousand dollars. You totally misinterpret how not well off we are. Ten thousand would be great for these kids. But I'm trying to sell them right now. Right now I pay all the bills. They got a roof over the head. Uh-huh. They got and new bikes die. and costumes. And then they're screwed. Yeah. I tell them the only money they're seeing is while daddy's breathing. Yeah. That's how it's going. And don't right you now. put me on the fucking life's mm-hmm. uh because this is like a like like the the Life insurance, you can put someone's yeah. name where the stuff can go to. And if you get murdered, they don't get that money. Oh, that's true. That's it. They got to make it look like an accident. No, it's suicide. No, if he gets <clears throat> murdered, don't, he doesn't get it. Yeah. Really? Yeah, because yeah. They, they're like, yo, wait a minute. No, the family plotted to murder him to get well, the money. Well, no, it's him. only if... Like, well, the family did, yeah. but I feel like some stranger killed him. Yeah, you oh, still yeah, get it if a stranger killed him. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Or oh, you he, think the insurance company's not going to put a case on it and be like, yo... <laughs> Track that bitch down. Yeah, yeah. Who she talked to in the he, last seven years? Or if he David Carradine himself, yeah. Carradine yeah. himself, you know? So It's just, I'm at that point where, like, all my friends are like, oh, yeah, I'm just, you know, doubled my stock portfolio. You know? I'm like, I doubled the life of my Stop groceries. Stop to your rich friends. Yeah. <laughs> Who's your rich friends? <laughs> the, the guys that owned uh, the bar in Port St. Lucie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Stop talking to the mic. It's going to depress the fuck out of you. Talk to Kermit. He got nothing going on. <laughs> that's how sad life is. Kermit yeah. showed me his savings the other day. He's got more stuff going that's on. That's his me. money. That's that's his father's money. No, that's, that's my the, money. I didn't. <laughs> that's, that's yeah, it did just say Kermit Gonzalez. I don't know which one. Exactly. Hmm. There's no I in there. It's me. Well, out of me. I got no, money. He's, he's been good. doing good. He's been planning. He's. Got oh, fuck, I've been planning since fucking high school. That's the hit jobs that his I father got, takes on the side. I was fortunate enough to meet it. one guy that was like, "Look, this is what you need to fucking do. Stop being a dumb fuck." Like and I did work and everything, you pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, dude. Um, swallowed that damn trick, that, yeah. the yeah, damn Kit Kat it's, bar, it's and a, it's a knowledge so good. <laughs> oh the my. day baby's mama finds out I'm worth more dead than alive is the day I die. Oh. That's how that goes. That would be yesterday. You would have been dead <laughs> yesterday, Mike. <laughs> no, dude, because right now I'm producing and paying bills. If I'm dead, that all stops. Um. <laughs> yeah, dude. Ever since I got the like the the nine to five job, I was like, oh my god. Like I uh, I think I was talking to Alex. You one? Hey, how's everything? Like you still you know you doing comedy? He's like, dude, nah. Uh, I I do it when I want to. It was and Alex. I'm, you said yeah, this, yeah, oh. and I'm happy. He goes, you really happy? You don't miss it? It's like, dude, you know you know what comedy never gave me a brand new car. <laughs> 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 I got two of them now. Uh, yeah. So it's like, you know it. It kind of sucks because you you kind of feel like oh man I I I quit on the dream but you, you, it's it's yeah but it's nothing you gotta different. think about it's uh, Ronnie Dangerfield that Ronnie Dangerfield dude he quit and he then came back quit. when he was in his fifties yeah and came back so it's, Plus, comedy's not something don't, that you don't it doesn't go from. away yeah it yeah. doesn't if you're yeah. funny, you're don't funny. feel like you quit on a dream I mean think about how many guys played sports in high school and college and then it just didn't hit for them and they're like okay well i guess i'm gonna sell real estate now you know nobody's like you gave up why don't you do real estate why don't i do real estate yeah uh, i don't know man i just think there's always too many real estate agents no there there is but everyone's different and yeah go- it's just being real yeah and, mm. and you're genuine and stuff like that. And, and I, I see a lot of stupid people get their license. I'm like, how yeah. the hell are you selling a house? You're hey horrible. guys, uh, let me show you this nice three story family I'm home. Not, but you're the type of uh, be like, listen, I'm not going to bullshit you. Mm. It's a lot of Jews in this neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> or the people leave and then Mike goes back in the couch and goes to sleep. Yeah. I, <laughs> he's, he's I just, sell. He stays. He stays in the model home. I'll be we... here until you guys <laughs> buy this house. <laughs> I specialize in two-story houses. There's a story I gave you before you moved in, <laughs> and the story it turned out to be. The body was here. Hey, the, let the, me. T- it's a long drive. Why don't you guys hop in the PT Cruiser? I'll t- you know what? We'll take your car. We'll take your <laughs> car. You know what the rave is? Black schools, and there's one <laughs> right around the corner. Your kids will love it. <laughs> Jesus. You know, uh, out of all the neighborhoods, this one has the second least child offenders. <laughs> 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 I put red dots on the mailbox. You don't even uh, have to. I put. Red- yeah, you like Mexican food? Because there's 72 <laughs> of them living right there's next. 72. Of them. On the bright side, lawn care bedroom. not a problem in this. Yeah. <laughs> the landscaping is fantastic mm-hmm. in this neighborhood. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll just open a karate dojo. Got, uh, hey, hey, hey! <laughs> My new neighbors are are <laughs> apparently. I got. Are you got like new a, neighbors? Yeah, it's uh, I guess it's a sorority fraternity or some shit like that. Wait, what? Yeah, dude, I got a like a shitload of college students living in a house. They don't throw parties or anything. Thank God, it's this this new age nerds. Mm. And oh, it's not like thing. Animal House no, next door. But they're all living like you know like. like what? A, what's I that movie? I feel like what's, that movie, The Neighbors. Yeah, yeah The Neighbors. Uh, I guess it was the Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen. Is that what's uh, happening? You gotta like try to like. No, they're not throwing parties. I'm disappointed at that shit. There's like there's like yeah. a dude like there's walking around with dude, no there's shirts like 17 and shit. Seventeen cars in the yeah, in like, the in the neighborhood. It's like <laughs> it's just for this one house. Huh. Crazy. So what? They just they just kind of, like you said they just nerds. They don't disturb yeah, anything. They don't know anything. No. Well, so then I weird. guess that's good for you. I guess. Yeah. Except when you. It's drive creepy it, though. When you drive in my neighborhood, you just like gotta make sure traffic. you're straight. You don't. They park on the roads. Into everyone's and stuff. cars. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only thing. Man, we destroyed these candies. Dude, you guys they were just good, though. on a tear. Look at that. They were good. I need my sugar. I miss your girl. Nope. Wow. <laughs> well, okay. There's <laughs> the sound clip for the week. I came here, she made she mozzarella made with... Oh, she did. Oh, okay. yeah, that with was tomatoes. good. Tomatoes yeah. and... Yep, yep. <laughs> what are you giving me that look for? Don't look at me like that. I gave you candy. 
<laughs> no, that's yeah. not what I asked. That was stale. <laughs> Is that stale? It's brand freaking new. It's like a sure fucking was. Tr- a 45 minute trip over here thinking, uh-huh. oh, there's meats and yeah. cheeses. Where's the wine? No, <laughs> it's you me. Want wine? Look, there's wine. It's me there's whining. Mm. Wine. But, yeah, yeah, yeah last time was a party cheese trays and coquito. And oh, such a good He time. got to hit you in the nuts with a baseball bat. Can we do that again? No, I don't have the cup. You're not No, that's better. No. Donk. He just did the light sweep. Coquito! Uh, you know what else I've been because I since I'm all caught up on Game of Thrones. Wait, are you watching Game? <laughs> Come on, dude. I just, oh yeah, can I send you the memes? But then you never reply, so I'm like, oh shit. That's because you send Mike, like a hundred fucking Mike, memes a day, dude. Mike, you appreciate them. Don't act like you don't. Mike, yeah. this has been bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what you're talking about. This has been bothering. Go ahead. Me. Was it something I did? Oh yes. yes. Was it the area one? What the fuck is that about? <laughs> I thought that was genius. I'm like, it's so fucking inside baseball kind of thing. And I'm like, the fuck is he? And then the text is like all over the, pic- the picture. And, and then I'm like- sending to Kermit. It's like, this is your fucking fault by teaching him how to do this it's shit. It's smart though, right? It's too smart. Yeah, I thought Because it was you really got to be like, what the fuck Yeah, is it's it? too it's inside. Like, huh? It's going to kill a Megacon. It's going to kill a Megacon. <laughs> I Wait, thought read, it was read, genius. Read, read the meme. And, I thought it was genius. I was the surprised it, it didn't what, get more likes. What's the photo? What's the photo first? The photo is, is so you have Gandry and Aria, mm-hmm. and they're talking to each other, and it says, Aria, that was nice, but you be down for a little role-playing next time? Gandry, mm, sure. What do you have in mind, Aria? I was thinking you could be a highborn lord, and I could be Walder Frey. Gendry, big open eyes. At Mike Hurley. He. Yeah. <laughs> I had that to look is, that shit up. That Yo. is what? <laughs> I didn't know who the then hell you know you're what? talking about. Then you know what? Fuck you. You guys aren't real Game of Thrones fans. <laughs> this is so fucking The way you guys shit. went at me with Mike Tyson, fuck you both. Yo, <laughs> Game of Thrones. This is so fucking ner- that, fucking honestly, nerd. Fucking nerd 9000 over here. I swear to God, the people are standing gonna- ovation at Mega God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if the guy that's gonna stand up is the guy that has like a fucking wolf outfit <laughs> and some shit like that. A little dragon on. He's gonna Funny. Okay. Let me break it down for the lay people. A fucking tear comes down. <laughs> how, can you, how can you watch Game of Thrones and not get that? The North remembers. <laughs> okay. So, Aria, who is... The little young girl The we girl watched. that can swap faces with people. Uh, but spoiler alert. All right. Uh-huh. If you don't have yeah. Look, seen. if you're not caught up, go fuck yourself. Uh, all all right. Six. Go. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. She finally hooks up with this guy she had a crush on. And then I made this little thing about role playing, which Mm -hmm. what better to have a girl that can change her whole appearance. And the face she picked was the face she used to avenge her family who was killed at the uh, Red Wedding. I could be a highborn lord. Yeah. You could be a highborn lord. You could be Walter. I could be Walter Frey. Who's Walter Frey again? uh, The old guy. The old guy. The old guy that remember at the Red Wedding, he was the one that was killed uh, everyone. Yeah. So did the highborn fuck Walter Frey all the time? Is that what we're doing? No, it's just a generic character. But technically, he is a highborn lord, and he just found out. Because remember, he's the son of uh, Robert, Robert Baratheon. He's the bastard, bastard child. child. Of the, uh, yes, 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 yes. yes. So, so then, see, it makes sense on so many levels. Oh, uh, <laughs> and I will tell you this. I've been posting stuff like the past week and getting a ton of like shares and likes and everything. I put that one out. And I was like, oh, here we go. And I sat back. Yeah, and you're I'm selling like, out a six? solid six likes. Six? <laughs> Six and that was like maybe With James I... Yon putting a laughing face on it. My 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 domestic bunny got more likes than that. <laughs> then I was like maybe maybe I shouldn't post that at four in the morning, but I felt like I had to hop on it before someone else did. <laughs> I'm gonna take this hot take, uh, dude. <laughs> that joke is genius. I'm not backing down. I that. swear to God, record it for this comic for Megacon. Con, for yeah, Megacon. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kevin Kevin White offered me. Uh, if yeah, I'm are you gonna jump to on it? I I just don't. Don't have do anything. It? It's not that I don't want to do it. It's just I don't want to. I I don't have anything. Don't. No, we just do no. our material. Yeah, just do your material. We don't do like Megacon jokes. No, we got enough guys on the show that do geek-oriented humor. I haven't done a single geek joke in the really? years. I've, no, yeah. man. I, I just do my. I own just gotta do my regular material. I think I did like one joke talking about Megacon. Yeah. It's just. It was just about a guy that was dressed up. There was a family dressed up. Yeah. As Thanos cleaning crew, and it was like the best. Yeah. <laughs> I looked like that was the best costume out the was whole. Was that set. the best joke of the night? It wasn't a joke. It was just like. No one I just don't want to go there and Dude, do my material and just have this. No, that doesn't. They love stand-up comedy. Dude, they were like, no, it's they were on fire. It's a stand-up show that happens to be at Megacon. There's some guys on the show that try to slip in. Like, Kevin obviously has geek material yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. No, yeah. but that's his I, wheelhouse kind yeah. of thing. He feels but, confident. But they're, ju- they're just people who enjoy stand-up Dude, comedy. Dude, they're man. on fire. And there's like 300 every show. They pack it out. We turn people away. People are lined up an hour so and a half before it? showtime. 
I said yeah. you should. What we're day all, were you going to do it? We're all going to be on? there. I don't know. What day were you thinking? Okay, I'll do it. All right, cool. I'll tell them now. Is your your twin's going to be there Saturday. Who's so, that? Jake Rico? Sanchez. <laughs> oh. The, the Pedro's twin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is Jake Rico your twin? <laughs> I guess. I thought you meant like bigger Jake, guys. Yeah, I okay. know Jake's on Saturday. <laughs> Yeah, you know I've been watching a lot of since getting back to the binge watching thing. Do you like the Game of Thrones? Do you enjoy it? I do, I do. And it was one, did you always show. watch it from the beginning? No, nope. just did. Uh, he uh, binged it. You binged nope. it. What I usually do is I wait for something to finish and then I go watch like everything. All at once. Yeah, yeah. But this one, I was like, oh, we're on season five. They're only gonna do eight. There's no way I'm gonna get through all these. And then I became one of those guys who was caught up. And I was like, ah. And then it was like, I gotta wait a year. But, I waited for Breaking Bad. I didn't yeah. watch it as I waited I for the watched whole thing. It, I jumped in like after season three or something like that. I jumped in late. Like I didn't I even know about it. I was just really out of it. But it was so good. Um, mm. But no, Game of Thrones. But Game of Thrones, I jumped in like episode eight. No, okay. no bullshit. Episode nine. I remember where it was. It was. Uh, I didn't even realize how many years it's been. Yeah, I like was people in, are like, you know how much years you invested in this show? Dude, like, I was damn. performing in Alabama at mm. the Stardome. Oh, yeah. And I'm at the hotel room, and I'm watching uh, HBO. You watch whatever's on. Right. Mm. It's like, oh, HBO's on. What the fuck is this? Oh, this is my, oh, it's a Samoan guy. Oh, a Samoan guy gave a speech, and I was like, holy shit, I'm in. <laughs> oh, I'm uh, in. You're talking I, about uh, yeah, Aquaman? Drama, yeah, Aquaman Drago. did that. Oh, what a piece of shit movie that was. Oh, <laughs> yeah, my I didn't God. see it. Oh, don't. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so visually it's bad. great. <laughs> if you're a kid, your kids will love it. <laughs> I think if visually it's ch- great. If you're a child, if mm-hmm. you're a child or have the mental oh, you capacity loved it. of a child. You loved it. Oh, you loved it. You loved it. He hated it. He loved um, it. <laughs> so and when I saw this guy get decapitated, uh, spoiler alert, season one, uh, episode nine, I was like, holy shit, they just killed it's anybody. A, oh, it's Stark. Stark. Yeah, Stark. Yeah, oh, Stark. I was hooked. Yeah. That was that was when you're like, no one's safe. It was like Walking Dead. You're like, wait a minute. That was like a main character. Right. That guy's supposed to come back and so, take over the kingdom. The and Walking Dead kind of like... They they lost. I haven't watched in like three you know, seasons. The, thing about the, the comic book Dead, was so much better. Yeah, like yeah. the thing about The Walking Dead is... Um, it you became too inv- predictable. That, and you didn't invest in the Rick only has one hand in the, in the fucking yeah, yeah. comic book. Mm. They didn't want to deal with that special effects. Yeah, it goes... They, yeah. they don't deal... You don't, um, they don't invest in the Thrones characters. Lady. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. Jamie... Jamie, yeah. Uh, Lannister. Lannister. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude. When, uh, when they had the little meeting, and he's like, you know how I got my name? <laughs> I killed the giant. <laughs> then I went, and I fucked his wife. <laughs> and and she I let me suck, suck on her, her teeth. teeth. <laughs> mm-hmm. Someone did say that, that this last season, it seems like they're doing a lot more like the Marvel, you know, let's slip in comedy it was. wherever we can get a joke But it was in. it was nicely done. It wasn't yeah. over the top it wasn't comedy. Over the top. And I've seen a lot of people saying that. Well, that's because these next episodes are going to be dark as fuck. Yeah. Three is going to be a nightmare for everybody. And you got like. If you, three is going to make the fucking see, red I, wedding I, no, look like I don't, a summer I don't, camp. I don't even know if they're going to get to fighting in three. Oh, yes, they are. It's you 83 so? minutes. It's, it's three. It's the fighting episode. Three is is, it? It's yeah. the longest episode it's of the whole the season. Okay, because here's what I was thinking. Like the last episode, spoiler alert, we saw, you know, the the White Walkers approaching the castle, but they didn't deal with anything with Cersei's in this last episode. So you know how sometimes they follow this storyline, then the next episode. Oh, uh, no, they're not, they don't even, because they have be nothing to worry four. about. They're just chilling. There's like, epi- I, I don't know. I think, I think in, I think we might see Cersei's like doing something in her little area, but people are always like, these first two episodes haven't been as exciting. It's like, well, there's no, you're not going to introduce any new surprise characters no, at this no. point. Listen, All they're doing is setting up what these two episodes were. Go ahead. Kermit. It's everyone you've been watching finally in one house. Get in they with have you. to defend one fucking And another house. thing they did is everybody you enjoyed watching in the show. Mm-hmm. We're just going to give you a little thing so that way you're like, you remember, fall, in, fall a little bit yeah. more yeah. in love with that character because we're about to kill some motherfuckers off. Yeah. So you want to do how our many top? more episodes are there? There's, there's six, six, six season total. Or Realistically, seven? there's seven because the amount of time there are okay. uh, in each episode. So we got four more episodes. Four more. Yep. Oh, that hurts. It but does. 80 something minutes. They're full on movies each. Uh, I love it. Yeah. Love it. Love yeah. it. Who do you think? Who, 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 let's go ahead and talk. First, top three dying. I, I, I episode three. Okay. Episode three only though. Not the overall. I'm gonna say Beric. Who's Beric? Beric, the guy, the captain, uh, the guy with the eye patch. The eye patch. Okay. He's mm-hmm. dead because in the books he's been dead. 
Okay, ah, nah, 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 nah. come on. Uh, what? You're like my sister, dude. I had to tell my sister, shut up. She told me some shit today. And I was like, oh, stop. Trust me. Trust me. The book. You, you're yeah. not going to enjoy the book. I'm never going to read the book. Let's okay, be honest. So then what the fuck you But don't, don't about? do <laughs> that. Because then it's like, I'm like, oh, well, he's, then I'm not going to be surprised. Well, he's another thing that happens in the book. No, that, no, no, no. I went to cover my ears and it only <laughs> pushed my headset book. closer. Yeah, yeah. No book. No book. Ah, you don't count, motherfucker. You read the book? No, I read a wiki of Ice and Fire. Why would you do that? Because I was waiting for them to <laughs> fucking release more episodes and I needed my Game of Thrones fix and I read the whole fucking page and I learned but everything. You, no, no one said, hey, fucker, stop reading. No, like in your I brain? couldn't. I couldn't. All right, no more sugar for I paper. I couldn't. No. <laughs> I couldn't stop. You don't count. I don't even want to have no, this no, conversation. No, listen, no listen. you know too much. No, Barrick. No. I, this, 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 don't say it's because of the fucking book. Listen, the fat guy didn't even write this shit. He's still <laughs> stuck. Yeah, he's still out he's there still writing. He's still stuck uh, in, in... Wait, there's more? No, dude. The fat guy only wrote to the point of Jon Snow being stabbed. That's it. He, hadn't, he hasn't written a book past that. These last two seasons is strictly the producers of Game of Thrones. Uh, oh, really? I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, the fat guy's been. Oh, yeah, a new book is gonna come out. Oh, I second. thought he was writing as they went. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So yeah, everything supposedly. after everything yes. after Jon Snow getting stabbed is fan fiction, is what you're saying? It's pretty much whatever these guys. Oh, that's had. weird. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. Because they caught up to the story. Because this fat fuck <laughs> was supposed to release the books a long time ago, but then he he fell in love with the fame that he got from HBO and the accolades and stuff mm. like that. Bought himself a new. Yeah, he got a new boat fucking cap. boat hat. And shit like that. <laughs> Walking around looking like Whatever Charlie happened. Bowie and shit. <laughs> Whatever happened Tell to this skipper? Tell me that guy doesn't look like Charlie <laughs> Bowie. A little bit. Right? He, he looks that. like Charlie Bowie when Charlie Bowie turns 60. <laughs> <laughs> um, so these are the three that I'm picking. All right. Well, you picked, you picked Barrick, one. All right, yeah. Uh, uh, Brienne's going to die defending Jamie. Oh, yeah. yeah. The and big woman. The big woman. And Theon's going to die. The no dick guy. Right. The no dick because okay. he's in the force. Wait, well, a lot of them don't so. have a dick, but which right, one? The the the, the, the Theon, iron the, 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 the yeah, that has a sister. Greyjoy. The okay. Greyjoy. Greyjoy. You don't know the characters. I I, I refer to them and what happened to them and by their face. No wonder you didn't get my meme. No, no one got your fucking meme. Everybody, <laughs> no one true got fans. Who you got? Get it. Who you got? True fans will get it. Uh, I don't know. I I think it's going to be hard to watch. Uh, pick three. John. I'm getting there. <laughs> Mr. I don't, I don't even know the fucking characters. Back the fuck up. <laughs> uh, I think it's going to be hard because now John and fucking his aunt and who's going to run that whole thing. I think the easiest way would be one of them has to die because you got two Targaryens now who think they're going to rule over the Seven Kingdoms. Mm, right? Episode three, that'd be hard. Okay. Only one really wants the throne is that crazy bitch. Yeah, yeah. which is why it will which go means to John. Nothing. <laughs> because you want to end with the guy who didn't want the power having the power. I don't think he's going to have the throne, but okay. I th I think he'll be there at the end. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, so who's our see? You guys played it safe. You went with characters that people are like, okay, those are secondary characters. I think to really make an impact, you need to off some big people. I think oh. Sansa's got to go. That's my one. That's your one. Yep. Okay. Yep. I because think Sansa's gonna go. By getting rid of Sansa, you get rid of the whole. Okay. So if Sansa. She's my number one. Yeah. I think that's she's out. Mm. I also. Okay. What's your other two? Oh, I think the Hound dies. Oh, don't say that. Don't say that. I love but him. then again, here's the thing. The Hound might not because he's the one character you've seen kind of go through like this whole redemption. He's got to fight his brother still. Come on. He, yep. But I think that's why he dies. Yeah. Oh, no. Because everybody thinks that's what you Obviously, he kills his brother. Mm. That's what they think. But I mean, his brother's dead already. He's just come back as a killer zombie Frankenstein yeah. dude. All right. Who's your third? That was three. Wait. So you said Sansa? Sansa? The Hound? Uh -huh. The Hound? Uh -huh. Oh, um, I said one of either Jon Snow or Daenerys oh, okay. has to go. So you're picking a oh, yeah, you're going fucking high roller on that one. That's you have it. to. No. Yeah. Fuck, what? No. They're going to be fucking no aunt and nephew no ruling the kingdom no, together. No, they're, they're, they're gonna, Look, the only gonna, way to make this not awkward is you got to kill one of the incest Worst case people. scenario, those two fucking fly away like Aladdin on one of those dragons. Oh, Cersei's <laughs> goes too. She goes. Cersei, she Cersei, 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 Cersei. Tyrion and Jamie's sister. The one that's ruling. Cersei, the one in the red cap. Yeah, but we're talking about episode three only, man. Not, not. Oh, I Who thought we were got? talking about the whole thing. <laughs> There's only Who four episodes left. We can't pick. I got Sansa. You think right. someone dies in this episode? This episode. I'm talking about third episode. This is the pool right there. <laughs> Wait, what are you looking at? The pool. Uh, my my daughter cool. in Atlanta, uh, her office has a pool. 
Oh, of who no. dies? Who dies? Who lives? And who, who becomes... turns into a White Walker? Oh, Sam Tarly becomes a White Walker. No. So Sansa's number He's one. He's a hero. He's alive for this all episode, the way. by the okay. way. I'm just talking about episode okay. three. You think Sansa's gonna die in this episode? Yes, that's okay. what I was talking about. I'm not okay. talking about overall. All right. Well, you were not clear. Yeah, I was. Yeah, he said number one. <laughs> Couldn't be more clear by going. You said one. number one. Sansa, my number one. No, I'm no, no. He said. I said this. Ep- the episode? next episode. I said. Oh, that. I thought we just. Yeah. You're done. Whatever. The okay. dude that sang. If only we had recorded. They sang the beautiful song. And he's, he's gone. Anyone that sings on that damn show, they're dead. Nope. Podrick's alive. No. Podrick. Is... Sam Tarly, Podrick, make it all the way to then. The they're every man. And um, I want to say, I want to say the chick, the the big chick. The night. Brienne. Brienne. Brienne of Tarth. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But I also think everyone in the crypt nope. is fucked. She's still alive because she hasn't hooked up with the ginger. Uh, he's my favorite. Guy. Yeah. Dormin. Dor- yeah. yeah they're gonna they're gonna hook up, so she ain't dying anytime soon. But the crypt, I think the the crypt, I think everyone's fucked fucked in that. Everybody moment. in the crypt. Yep. All they're the women fucked. and children are dead. They're fucked. So there goes the. You future. wanna hear my theory or? You is there more say, dragon fire heard, down no, there? No, everybody comes to life from the crypt. That's what I'm thinking. But you got headless Ned Stark coming out. <laughs> That'd be funny. Uh, He's holding his uh, head. He's holding his head. I don't know. Maybe. That'd be kind of crazy, but I don't know. I think the crypt. Because they keep saying it. Everyone's safe. Everyone's safe. Everyone's safe. Like, nah. You'll be safe in the crypt. You're, you're You'll fucked. be safe in the crypt. Yeah, they keep throwing that you keep red throwing hair. That is, I didn't think about that. That's like, pretty Stop good. saying that to me. I already know. That's the worst place. Yeah. It's the worst. Yeah. They got burned the bodies now. Yeah. What are we going to do when this is over? Go back to our normal life. What lives. else is going to... Uh, there's, there's nothing else I've been gonna... binge-watching other things just to get by through the week. Uh, I started watching Barry on HBO. How is that? It's pretty... It's pretty good? You Barry's sit down, pretty good. You yeah. sit down. And uh, I think I said the other day, I'm like, I, this is a hitman who wants to become an actor. I can relate because I'm a comedian who wants to kill everybody. <laughs> 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 but I've been watching Barry. I've been watching Kim's Convenience, which is just like 22 minute episodes. But it's basically just like a Korean convenience store. It's almost like Cheers, but in a Korean convenience so store. Speaking Korean? Uh, sometimes. Some episodes. <laughs> uh, but. Here's- Every episode when an ethnic person walks in, get out! <laughs> it, it starts. The very first episode is funny because uh, it's basically a, a gay guy walks in with his partner and they go up to this old Korean guy who's the father who owns the shop. And they're like, hey, Mr. Kim, would you be willing to put up our uh, poster? We're doing a show during Gay Pride Parade. He's like, no. <laughs> and he's like, they're like, why not? And he's like, oh, you did the ugly poster. No, put up gay poster. <laughs> and, he, and the guy goes, oh, okay. He's like, yeah. He's like, are you not putting up because we're gay? He's like, no, no, I don't care about the gay. I don't, you know, just ugly poster. I don't care about the gay. And the guy's like, we're going to report you because you're homophobic. He's like, I'm not homophobic. I'm not homophobic. Homophobic. He's like, if I'm homophobic, why do I have uh, gay? Where's this at? <laughs> this is on uh, Netflix. He's yeah. like, if I'm homophobic, he's like, if I'm homophobic, how come I? I offer a uh, gay discount. <laughs> and they're like, what? He's like, yeah, yeah, all the time. 15% off gay discount. And the guy's like, really? And he pulls out like a Butterfinger. He's like, so how much would this be? He's like, oh, usually $2. But for you, uh, you know, $1.70 gay discount. So he's like, well, great. Discount. We'll be... And they're like, well, how do you know who's gay or not? He's like, I just know. And they're like, oh, so you have gay dog? He's like, yeah, I had the gay red dog. <laughs> and then they're like, well, we'll let everybody know. So for the whole episode, it's just people who are gay and not gay trying to get the gay discount. <laughs> it's just stupid funny. That's on HBO too? No, uh, Netflix. Netflix. Oh, Netflix. Okay. Yeah, I just put it on. I heard that, um, so. 80, 80 Brian show Shrill on Hulu is pretty good. Oh, yeah, that is I haven't seen it. You know what else I've been watching? Uh, just binge watching <laughs> Doomsday Preppers. Have you oh, seen any of these episodes? We're talking, this is probably from 10 years ago, but they just released it on Netflix. Because if I told you I wasn't financially ready, after watching these guys, I'm like, I'm not ready for anything. No. These fuckers are driving around with 10 years worth of like food yeah, and dude. fuel. And I've been riding my car on E for like three days. <laughs> Well, got basements of everything. That's the food. thing, the, the the food and all that. But like like Bill Burr said, just get a gun. <laughs> you're, you're stocking up and just go around. Uh, the these people have more guns and home yeah. security. Than, and here's the thing. People call them crazy. But all these people, 
they might be crazy, but damn, they got money somehow because they all have like their own hundred acres. They got their fallout bug out home. They got underground bunkers. They have the money for all this shit. So they were intelligent enough beforehand to be like, yeah, I got a job that made me, me a lot of money. You, do you really want to be alive? <laughs> when it when all I, goes, when to shit? goes to shit? Um, maybe for the first two days. Why is that? Just to see like, holy shit. All right, I'm done. I'm done with it. I don't want to deal with this. At the end of it, it's like, yo, we have to... Mm-hmm. You seen how crazy people get in Florida I, after yeah. hurricane during so a hurricane before a hurricane. For four days. I will tell you this: it, being living in Florida and going through some hurricanes, at least we have that. Because I remember like living up north and going, "Why do people freak out? It's fine. If you run out of food, you go to the store and stuff like that." But living in Florida and being in states that or being in states that get hit. And just going like that four or five up to two weeks without power at times, you start realizing like, holy shit, the, all the stuff you take for granted isn't available anymore. Here's the thing. They got to recite. They got to move that food. Those things are perishable. They're yeah. going to go bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if you buy the right food. Now, they buy the can Do you know shit. white rice it has. It goes bad. Do you yeah. know white rice has like a 50 year lifespan or Does something? It? Yeah. Until the bugs like, go No, no. Because oh, yeah. brown, brown rice will. Uh... Look at you fucking looking at all that. Dude, fucking, there, <laughs> there's. How many Check bags this out. Brown rice you got There's motherfucking bags of brown rice at home. <laughs> yeah, fuck the your... kids. The kids' uh, beds made out of fucking brown oh, rice bags. You need, you, you know, you need water to uh, mm. boil this brown rice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, forget your Roth IRA. You can have all the money you want in there, but when the nuclear bomb hits, you're fucked like everybody yeah, else. Yeah, I'm putting sucks. all my money all into money. the underground bunker yeah, all that in money. Florida because that should work out fine. Yeah, it just goes there's sink in the aquifer. There's people in Texas. There's a family in Texas that own. This is the best one I've seen so far. They own like uh, one of those towns where you go to and it's all done up like uh, the Wild West, uh-huh. like a ghost town. Like, oh, come on in. And we play and dress as cowboys. And the only reason they have it is as a cover because that's their whole doomsday fallout. Like the restaurant is only there so he can order food for the restaurant. But he orders an extra two pallets for his family and puts them in the bunkers, which I thought the greatest thing about having this hidden bunker right in plain sight is putting on a TV show showing everybody where your hidden bunker in plain sight is when shit goes downhill. I think Tennessee has like the like the super cave that they have where all the president and everybody goes to and one thing of everything like a grain of this plant and blah, 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 certain plants. really and Apparently, the the rumor or whatever the story is, they got already the people assigned the essentials, uh, the essential personnel. So do you realize so things are going to go down? These people. These are, are the be- people like the top doctors, top yeah. scientists. So do you realize if uh, a pop uh, how you say it? apocalyptic you it. apocalyptic yeah. right through it, Mike. incident <laughs> happens right now? <laughs> I've got Twix in his mouth. Yeah. Right that. now. <laughs> I like to blame the Twix, but it was me. (laughs) If a global situation happened right now, (laughs) Trump is assured a seat in the safest place in the world. Of course. And we're not. Uh, That that hair of his is fucking. (laughs) That hair is insured. That hair and cockroaches. That's a fallout bunker. That's asbestos proof. (laughs) My God. That's scary. He's like, I must live on to breed. No, we, we're fucked. I, I'm, I know I'm fucked. I have no outdoor skills. Like, I'm a gatherer. <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm like, like I'll Kermit. stay here with the women and yeah. do the harvesting. Like, yeah. You're going to start jujitsuing people? Yeah, that, that shit ain't going to work. I'm going to jujitsu a zombie. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to front kick a zombie. It's not going to work. Rednecks with guns. Yeah, no, that that's the worst. The There's a guy in North Carolina. <laughs> I love this episode because he gathered his whole family together. He had five kids from one marriage, five kids from another. And he ate them. He gathered them together <laughs> and told them, I guess he was a real estate I'm developer. Fucking you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking you. <laughs> I guess he was a real estate developer. He gathered them all together. He's building a castle. A literal castle in the hills of North Carolina. Smart. He's only he's got the walls up, he's got defenses and everything. Boat. But he gathers them all together and be like, hey. I wanted to get you all here on camera to let you know there's no money for any of you when I die. <laughs> <laughs> I've taken all my millions and put it into a fund to only be used for the building and construction it's like of this. It's the Queen of Versailles. You ever been to that house? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Here in Florida? Mm-mm. It's Wait, the most have... expensive house in the world. Really? really? Yeah. It's not even Where is this? developed. It's somewhere here in Florida. Okay. Uh, it's the Wait, size... it's not even developed? No, dude, it's the size of like three super Walmarts. Holy shit. 
and uh, I'm actually my head she, goes to air conditioning. She gave a bill. tour to Eddie Huang. <laughs> Did a show on Vice, and she gave him a tour and stuff like that. It has like three elevators, uh, forty-seven rooms. And what's the point of this? But they just—it's uh, the people from um, the timeshares, and no one lives in it. Uh, they bu- started building, but they never completed it. Look it up, the Versailles. Really? What a place. I think it's Versailles or Versailles. Versailles. It is an 85,000 square foot house belonging to Westgate Resorts founder David Siegel and his wife, Jackie Siegel. It is under construction at 6121 Kirkstone Lane, Windermere, Florida, in the gated community oh, shit, of Blake right Butler, over here. Sound in Orange City. And mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's a mansion. Let me see. It's insane. Oh, it looks like a hotel. Holy shit. Netflix has a series. It's like on, Adam's Family like a House. on it. Yeah, but it's empty. When she does the tour, it's empty. Like, this, you see the 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 ladders, the wires, and shit like that. They, they stop building. They don't have the money to mm. finish to it. finish it. What a waste! It's like the eyesore on the floor. <laughs> yeah, because it's like the eyesore. Like we'll the, the competition of who finishes first. Oh my god! And it's still three times smaller than Tom Brady's house. Is it? <laughs> Tom Brady's got a huge house, dude. But it's like three stories and shit like that. Here's the thing, dude. Do you really need that? I was gonna say, what do you do with all that fucking space? It's like only two of you. I want what MC Hammer had, but bigger. Well, you you can run out of shit to put things in the MC room. MC Hammer ran out of shit too. Yeah, right. <laughs> like money. Yeah. yeah. Biggest commodity. See, there's Tom Brady's house. That's insane, dude. That's a hotel. Let yeah. me see that thing. What's the point of that shit? Wow. So Look you don't have that. to see your wife. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> You're on that side. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, but have you seen his wife? How the mm, fuck do Giselle. You not not Giselle. His wife? Mm-hmm. Giselle Bunchin. Mm. Bunchin. I used to always get her and, and Heidi Klum confused. I should have tried harder at football. You played football? You played no, football? I'm just saying. I, tried <laughs> I was like, yeah, actually, I tried it. Actually, I tried it. Yeah, it, it Did you was, play sports, Mike? Uh, just hockey. Just hockey. In Florida, good place. <laughs> <laughs> and we've had that story before. So the bear. I was living up were in Connecticut. Hartford, were you a Hartford Whaler fan? I was. I was a huge Hartford Whaler fan. <laughs> had the jerseys <laughs> and everything. And uh, yeah, I remember we moved down here in like the middle of uh, fourth grade. And my dad's like, what's the one thing you're good at? Hockey. Great. Let's go somewhere where there isn't any. And then fucking Florida. And that's where we came. All right. Yeah. I could have been great. You could have. Yep. This was every time they scored a goal. Oh. Uh, the Hartford Whaler. <laughs> Look at Mike got all excited. Look at that. We didn't hear it often. So. <laughs> <laughs> the Harford Whalers were a terrible, horrible team. The year that That's we actually. That's a good act- song. That's a good song. The year, I think 1993 94, the uh, NHL went on strike. And in preseason, we were killing it. And then they went on strike. And then the next year, they got sold to Carolina and started winning some games. We're not going to get copyright for this shit, are we? Probably. Oh, that's right. You can't play this. Sorry. <laughs> Nobody's coming after that song. <laughs> Drake's like, that's my new one. <laughs> Sampled the shit out of that. that shit. So, yeah, check out uh, Kim's Convenience and Barry's pretty good. I'm all caught up on Barry now, though. That pisses me off. I gotta when wait. are you doing it? Wait night till you guys doing it. Doing what? The comedy thing. I'm there every night. You wait, what are you talking night? about? Oh, Megacon. Yeah. Well, yeah. I guess we should. Yeah, Megacon. I'm there Saturday. You do Saturday? Yeah. Yeah. What night are you available? I'm like, uh, any, I mean. Thursday, Friday. I think Thursday show is at 8 o'clock. Friday and Saturday is 6, and then Sunday is 4. Because yeah, it I goes could, with I the. Do, I could do either Thursday. Mm-hmm. When are you going? Or Saturday. You're going Thursday and Saturday? Well, no, because if I'm doing this, don't I get in? Or do I have to pay? Yeah, no, we'll have a pass for you. Yeah. On the day you're getting in. Thursday or Saturday, because Friday I won't make it. Yeah. Well. Sounds like we're about wrapping this up. I'd say so. Well, uh, anything this week you got yeah, going on? You tonight slash tomorrow because people are gonna, our Patreon get to hear this on Wednesday. But tomorrow, oh yeah, I'm at the uh, Orlando Improv you're featuring, featuring for, for Tony, Tony Black. Black. I think Type Mike's hosting the show. Chris Ray is doing a guest spot, and I guess uh, I gave that damn guest spot away, motherfucker. I guess Jacoby Bruton. Oh, he's yeah, Lord, that's a showcase spot. now. That ain't no damn show. Yeah, all right. <laughs> So. And 12 other comedians from Orlando, Florida. Whenever I do less time, get paid the same. And then they'll complain about not getting paid for <laughs> five minutes. Mm. Oh, we're talking I'm about, uh, we're talking about the last... Uh, I'm so glad that none of them got paid. <laughs> well, you should have known. Go ahead, go ahead and go ahead and know. You should have known. If, if first, thing, first thing you ask, 
when you're booked in a show, you should know how much time you're doing. Mm -hmm. You should know if you've been doing comedy for a while, depending on the time that you are going to get paid. Mm -hmm. If you are only doing five minutes, you're not getting paid. Don't ask about getting paid. Sometimes if you're doing like a showcase, like when Ken and I run it, we just do a showcase and we give everybody some money. You guys are suckers, though. Yeah. I wouldn't give anybody five minutes. Five minutes. Anybody can go hey, up there for five minutes. Changing gears. You know who's, you know who's featuring for Joselito? Who? <laughs> <laughs> they tried to get Bad Bunny. He was blown. Show up there with the, ra with the rabbit Show costume. Show up there with the rabbit costume. They'll love you. When is that show? Uh, May... Second, something like that. Third. Oh my gosh! It's on a Thursday. I went out the last time Kermit was hosting because uh, I'd never seen he had hosted for him a couple of times. Hey, I man, guess. Don't bite the hand that feeds. And no, no, I <laughs> I went careful, out. Be careful what you said. I went out there. I went out there to see the show, and uh, it was Kermit what do you think hosting. About the middle light. Apparently, I've met him <laughs> before. He's not on. <laughs> Apparently, I've met him before, and he come to. He came to like other bar one night. not there anymore? No. Mm. Oh, it got scrapped? Yeah, scrapped to scrap. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mike's in. <laughs> I'm jumping right in. <laughs> Mike's in. My, Waletos my, de gonna, fuego. Mike's going to... Whip out Mike's gonna whip out the firewall and burn the whole set because oh, oh the set's yeah, all I've never burnt anything. <laughs> He's gonna stage. burn the puppet down. You know, one time I got into a fucking argument with a booker because uh, I wanted to book Mike. And, <laughs> Look at Mike and they didn't want, I told you about this. Yeah. He didn't want to book Mike because apparently the insurance, the venue didn't have the insurance. Over the fire wallets? The oh, fire I wasn't wallets. allowed to sell the fire I wallets. I wasn't allowed to sell the fire that wallets. One. And it was some other side bullshit. Yeah. yeah. I'd rather you tell me straight up, I don't want him to sell the fire yeah, wallets. Yeah, because I've done that is. venue several times. I've sold fire wallets there yeah. every single time. <laughs> and it's a good buddy of mine, Darren, who has now he does a show in Atlanta. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I just tell me straight up that you yeah. don't want him selling the fucking wallets. Yeah. I don't want him selling the wallets, <laughs> but I know he needs to sell the wallets. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, should, just, I better ask Joselito about that. That'll be, that'll be, uh, oh. disappointing. Be like, I can't, I can't. Oh, I won't do the show. That's fine. Yeah. Um, straight up. Do the show and sell the fucking wallets. What's yeah. he going to do? Stop you? Yeah. Mm, no. it, trust me. If he had the other guy working for him, that guy was selling what after the show? Uh, he was selling t-shirts and fucking yeah, so he's fine coasters and, and fucking. Yeah, no, that's just how it is. But um, whatever. Yeah, I was actually crap. a lot of scrap for crap, a lot of scrap. <laughs> crap, scrap. I real quick, I know we're gonna get out, but I was actually home. Why for, are you guys on a? Are you getting he, kicked he out just, of the apartment? He, he just did the. Oh no, you guys kind of wind down, but we, I mean, I'm oh, like, you guys kind of wind down because you were contributing so uh, much. Yeah. Oh, oh, my back hurts. First, I <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Right, go ahead, finish right. Story, Gotta Mike. see a chiropractor after carrying yeah. this show. <laughs> ah, damn. <laughs> Come and took a day off today. <laughs> Son of a bitch. So, um, yeah, I went home for Easter, and uh, Saturday night, I uh, got the kids into the hotel and everything with their mom, and then I was just usually I hang out, see friends from back home, and I saw on my Facebook that they were doing a comedy open mic right around the corner from my uh from my hotel. So I go over there and I know the guy running and he's like, hey, you want to do some time? I'm like, yeah, I'd love to do some time. And uh, went up, pretty decent crowd. Uh, they they liked me, but compared to some, like I did not kill. I mean, and the funny thing is the guy who went before me destroyed and that guy was featuring for me two months ago. Same material, just for some reason it didn't fly for me. Uh -huh. But the whole reason I bring it up is afterwards I'm standing outside and some guy comes up to me. He's like, hey, you're from Orlando? I'm like, yeah. He's like, do you know Pedro Lima? I'm like, yeah, I know Pedro. He's like, Pedro is one of the funniest guys I know. I'm like, well, he's one of the funniest guys I know. Who is this? And that's the thing. I asked him, I'm like, are you a comic? Because he was kind of hanging out in that little, you know, open mic or comic yeah. circle. And he's like, no, I worked with him for like four or five years at the, I guess, when you were doing the hotel vacation thing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I didn't catch his name, but he looks, as soon as I saw him, I'm like, he looks like a shorter Barack Obama. He's like, uh, could be Asian, could be Desio. black. It's uh, Brazilian. Yeah, it could be it. It's this kid right here, I bet you. <laughs> but yeah, I, I said, used to give him so much shit. Said work. nothing but great things about you and how awesome you were and how funny you were. Oh, so, so I just wanted to throw that out that there. That was you a uplifting story. Thank you, yeah. I thought I was going. I thought I was going to take. You can't go anywhere message. without someone knowing Pedro Lima. You were funny, but do you know Pedro Lima? Yeah, yeah I know Pedro. Lima. <laughs> this kid. That's the one. Yeah, that's my <laughs> homie Desio. Yeah. So hey, Desio, sorry I didn't learn your name, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
It was weird. He said so many nice things. I used to come into work with such a bad mood. <laughs> <laughs> and he always says, hey, he's such a nice kid saying hi to everybody. <laughs> he's one of those guys. Which is just automatically, you like, fuck this it. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's saying hi to these fucking people. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no, no. It's like, I'm like, Desi, I don't talk to people until they're here at least three months. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, what you told him? Yeah, I'm not going to learn people's names. And That's, not gonna Ricky Ray's told me that about comedy. He's like, I'll learn your name when you've been on the scene six yeah. months. I'm not going to waste time learning names of people yeah, who aren't going to be around. How tiring it is. Yeah. Like, hey, remember I did comedy? No, I don't remember. No, I remember you. Yeah, I hate talking to people. Even even now that the kids are in school and baby's mama and I are home for about three hours a day alone. Luckily, I got work to do. But like, we just won't talk. And then every now and then she'll sneeze and I wait because she never sneezes in a single. She always has that That's second three? sneeze. Yeah. No, she's got two. So it, it sucks, too, because when she doesn't now, here's what sucks. Like, we got a perfect not talking to each other go- thing going. And then she sneezes. and I'm like, bless you. And it ruins it because I'm like, yeah, I want to <laughs> talk to you. But at the same time, my mama didn't raise an animal. You know? See, I don't say bless you. I no. say salute. Salute. Which means health in Spanish. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll I'm speak. like, I don't know if you're. My a dad does pedophile. a four. My dad does a four ring, mm. that, and it gets louder as. Ja, I, ja, ja, yeah. ja. I'm like, enough. See, <laughs> enough. She does the two 99.9 percent of the time, but sometimes she just does one, and now I've waited too long for the second one for my bless you to even make sense, you know? Because now it's been like 20. I seconds. say ble- I say salut, and then the second one I go oh, enough. Mm. enough. Enough. That's enough why really. you say I, I give him. Bless you, bless right you, now. and then I'm like, you don't get three. I'm not the fucking pope. I meant to tell you guys something. My dad dropped the bombshell on me today. You have another brother? You have a brother? No, that would be funny though. Second uh, family? No, third Even family. Something worse. Body. He's doing comedy. Shut up! Oh, <laughs> shut what? up! He goes at the VFW. So he's writing this paper. Hey, are they booking? He's, he's writing this yeah, paper. How much is it paying? He's writing this paper on uh, the com- computer. Uh-huh. And I'm like, what is that? I'm like, what are you doing? It looks like a book report. Mm-hmm. I'm working on my set. I go, what that set? That nigga's gonna go to the other bar. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, he's like, oh, I got a set this I weekend in Daytona. I guess him and his buddy dress up like in drag, and they do like a whole, like a very Hispanic kind of like, yeah, I know. That's why I was like, what? I like how you threw in very Hispanic. Like, you it's know, very, the no, usual drag me show. We've talked about this. And Is this I, common? I even told Ricky, because I go, Ricky, you missed the whole puppet uh, window. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You got to go drag. Yeah. Puerto Ricans love drag. The, Is Puerto this Ricans like the love, Telemundo type? My dad did it once. He went to a costume party and he dressed That's up like a woman. That's how it starts. And it was like, and he, I guess he had a good time. He was roasting people. I'm just doing this for laughs. This isn't who I am. Here's a mm-hmm. kicker. He goes... Oh, man, I forgot what the fucking names were. It was like backwards of yin and yang. It was a Yanni and Yankee or some shit like that. Some weird shit like that. Mm-hmm. I'm like, how much time are you doing? He goes, an hour. And I looked at him and go, what? Ooh. I go, what do you mean an hour? He goes, oh, it's a whole show. What is that? Team Galimbo. Team Galimbo. Team Galimbo. What is that? What is that? Hey, there's oh, there's that's, a, uh, what's his face? What's Chente? No, that's not Dusty, whatever. That's, that's what it looks like. No, that's a, that's a, the famous stand-up Puerto Rican comic, Chente Drach. Oh. Well, anyways. But they do drag in Puerto Rico. That's the so thing. They love that shit. He's doing an hour, mm-hmm. and it's going to be taped. and it's gonna be So we get to see this because oh it's going to be on YouTube. You're not going to go see it live? I'm working. He he's leaving on the day I'm working. He's doing it on a Friday night. Yeah. Where is he doing it? What in Daytona. Daytona. Day early. Where you in know Daytona? how hard it is to put pumps? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, dude. It did. This was all like a shock to me. I was just like, "What?" It was, oh no! Did he ask you to look over his material? No, he didn't ask me anything. No, he probably. Like, I got to. this. I could do this. He probably, I was like, "He's like, I did it at a party. I did like thirty-five minutes, forty-five minutes." He sounds like every comedian that other bar. I'm like, does he do full makeup? He does. Like, I, if I pull up his Facebook, I don't have my phone on me, but it's there's like, pictures. It, he has an outfit where he did. Give me your phone. Go on Facebook. No, I'm not giving you my phone. <laughs> give, me your, give me your phone. And. uh yeah, man, he's like, have, but he says like, oh, it's a roast thing, and then like an acting thing, and then they have like some like band that's coming up, and you, then you realize this means your father's booking more gigs than you and headlining before you. Yeah, yeah, you yeah he's headlining. That, right? He's headlining already. First gig right out the gate. Is he singing? I will survive. I don't know. Maybe. He's, he's I don't know making... what's going on. And he didn't. He didn't. He didn't ask or anything. He's just like, I'm doing this. Is your mom going out to watch? My mom. <laughs> My mom hates his guts. What? <laughs> no. My mom you and dad know, man, talk. you dress like woman. <laughs> My mom's not Asian. Oh, She's she Dominican. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what 
Well, are you guys looking at my father? Real yeah, quick? I see him all in his karate gear and stuff like yeah. that. I go to his profile. This gun. That's oh, what yeah, I'm yeah, at. Yeah, yeah, he has like his gun collection. Am I looking at his yeah, it's hard to make jokes profile? about a guy who owns this many guns. Oh. Yeah, he I, knows how much I love him. Yeah. yeah, even though I only met him once, he sh- just came to get the gun from the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that really what you did? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I left the gun in the fridge. Oh, okay. Oh. I met him twice. Sorry, at the kickboxing event. He's a kickboxing. fucking trip. He's a trip. Just yeah. he's funny. So, he's oh, way he's funnier so than me. We'll, got, we'll get that photo and we'll post it on the. Uh, we'll post you, give it. me. I guess no. I'll find it real fast. No, dude, no. I'm not gonna mess with your no. phone. No. Trust you. That's okay. What do you mean? Don't trust me? That's because fine. the stuff you have done to my phone without having my phone in your hands. Yeah, yeah I'll do enough. it like this. Nah, nah, you got yeah, those yeah, quick little ages. I don't trust you. You'll pair it to your phone. You'll be in there live. I've watched enough. I know what you can do. You can hack. He can uh, hack text messages yeah. so he can throw pictures in in the middle of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <fucking laughs> See? <laughs> Look at that. That's not even denial over there. He's just like... Fine, I'll do it on mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. If anything, you should be... Compl- These are compliments right now that we don't trust you His with our technology. His father dresses in drag. The most manliest fucking... Yeah, covert assassin in U.S. Owns one of one hundred Bumblebee Transformer yeah. cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, that motherfucker. Yeah, dude, that fucking and now tank has a, has doesn't a, even like Transformers. He put, yeah, now he has he, a Jeep. Did he mount a bazooka to it yet? Pretty close. He, God he, damn. He put a turret on it, like a like a ham, um, uh, uh, homemade turret. There it is. Yep, I'm oh, done. Oh, Minge Petraka. Yeah. Mm, Minge Petraka. What's that mean? Yeah, there used to be a, a popular show, Minge Petraka. So him and his buddy are doing some act on this. And, mm-hmm. and I don't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, man. I, I got to say, I'm just as shocked as you guys are. <laughs> Daddy, what? <laughs> so you going to do another podcast called My Two Moms? <laughs> <laughs> It's a wacky family. <laughs> he runs a karate dojo by day. One yeah, I'm going to get shut down over this shit. Watch. One and a half dignities. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh. All right, man. This is a long ass episode. Yeah, I just yeah. realized that. This is weird. Sanchez is going to fucking hate editing oh, this. Oh, <laughs> what's there to edit? Uh, three cameras. Oh, bull. Oh, this camera's off. My camera's going. That camera is still going. That camera ran out of batteries or some shit. Yeah, this camera's dead. Yeah. This camera's done. Oh, Fucking, so. uh, well, it was space a, robots. It was, it was a was bonus fun. episode. It's a bonus episode. We're not going to do episode 63. This is where we leave you. It's, six, it's just like Game of Thrones. We, yeah. just, we, we officially made two episodes into one. Boom, boom, 61 boom, boom, and boom, 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 61 boom. and a half. 61 yeah. and 60, 61 and a half. Don't worry. In the next episode, a lot more people die. <laughs> We're not in our podcast. Just I make I make no promises. I'll no be promise. back in episode ninety something. Ninety yeah. something? No, you need to come back. We're gonna do a coquito in July. That would be ninety something, right? No, nah, uh, we only do one a week. Yeah, dude, we'll be catching up quick. Yeah, dude, so 60. that's like fifty two a year. You got your podcast coming up coming up soon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lima criteria. Why are you making it sound sad? Because I've been You're I've doing been so. Have you guys not been doing Devils in the Details? No, man. His schedules is not matching up. Because he's out doing all the cons. Yeah, he's in charge of booking the cons and all that stuff. And he has to juggle that. And then he has to juggle his two kids. Didn't you have some wrestling chick that was doing it with you? Marriage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That didn't work out either. That was no because that was through him. That was through him. Oh, okay. So and now you like you sign your own. Yeah, which is gonna be a little bit different. It, it, we'll try and do. Um, some history stuff whenever he gets a chance, but it's just gonna be like a clusterfuck of whatever, whatever I feel like doing. But it. you're doing it with your wife. I'm doing. There's a, a part that's called the Bitchersons, which is with my <laughs> wife, <laughs> <laughs> which is also the name of Kermit's drag father show. <laughs> <laughs> And the Bitchersons. I think you got to sue them. The for Bitchersons was the name given by Ricky Reyes to to mm. my to mm. my uh, marriage. That's see, see that now you, the whole argument. Yeah. Thing. Now you got to tell your dad you can, that they can perform only as the Bitchersons Roman numeral two. Yeah. <laughs> dos. <laughs> Bitcherson dos. I should have printed. I should have printed out his set. I think it's all in Spanish too. You should do flyers for him. It's all in a Spanish. good son would make a no, flyer. No, don't do that. Don't no. do that. No, here. Make a no. flyer. Yeah, why well, won't you do a flyer for? Pops? I didn't know about that. I just found it out tonight. Well, yeah, you, you got have time. time. You 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 <laughs> kill a hey, flyer. What is going on here? A, help your father. Dude, after his after everything he's done for you. Yeah, dude. Are you just afraid that he's gonna fucking? No, like, not at all. Skyrocket. I'm gonna put him at the. He's gonna feature for it's you. It's only week. more money that you can apply to this apartment. <laughs> 
nice apartment. Yeah. <laughs> you can my podcast. You can ex- yeah. And, yeah, and let's face it, you're going to be half pay for most of it because your girl's not coming back from yeah, California. Yeah, she's not coming back. She's staying in San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> you stuck with that blind ass dog and that <laughs> other mutt that just showed up. <laughs> Look at this. This house Daggers. is such a, this house is such a wreck without her being oh, here. Oh, you see the dishes and everything? It's just no, right. Everything. It's just, hi. Look, I left. I missed you. <laughs> nah. Usually you walk dishes. in. You walk in. Shit there's everywhere. a little message. Hey, there's food in the fridge. Nothing. 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 Dogs haven't eaten in like two days. You better do something special for that woman. Yeah, Alexis comes. isn't even talking to us anymore. I was like, <laughs> hey, Alexis. Nothing. When the women leave this apartment, they leave this apartment. Fucking flowers. When's she coming she- back? When's she coming back? Saturday. You got yeah. something planned? What's the over under on that? That's the pool I want to bet on. It's <laughs> <laughs> coming Sunday. Sunday, just Saturday. Saturday, Saturday at yeah. eight or some shit like that. Uh, at eight or, you know exactly. Eight no, no, I need to look. It's like eight, eight o'clock at night because mm. she's not. She didn't. She didn't. She didn't make the cut for a end of game. End game. Mm. So I'm going. Oh, I go watch it at twelve. Mm-hmm. But you got to pick her up at the airport. Yeah, at eight o'clock at night. Mm-hmm. And then you're going to the movie theater? No, no, no. 12 o'clock in the afternoon, I'm watching the movie. Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Come then on, you'll come, come on, home. Come on, man. Come on. You'll come home. You'll blog about it. You'll fall asleep. You'll no, forget to go I'm, get I'm it. No, I'm actually going black on media after. I'm going dark on media. You're going black? I'm going black. <laughs> going dark on media. Then you are. Hello, go bl- everybody. Hey. <laughs> is, that, is that your black voice? <laughs> hey, hello, hello there. Hello uh, there. Hello there, sir. <laughs> <laughs> he does got that Eddie Griffin vibe to him, if you throw the... <laughs> Yeah, you, did you just do the no. loop? <laughs> <laughs> the camera's off. Don't worry oh about it. <laughs> this one's pointed right No, at this me. one's at me. Okay, uh, good. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> just oh. that one's on. <laughs> yeah. I do the lip. <laughs> My preacher lost. Oh. <laughs> Love you, preacher, but you got big ass lips. You know, <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's so it. So you got no plans for her? No, none at all. Come on, dude. What do you mean? On. Wait, don't. You're don't. not going to do a flyer for your father. Yeah, You're not going to clean this place, make it special, rose yeah, petals dude. to the $5,000 bed. Make her feel like she was missed. <sighs> you make me feel. Are we done with this? You're not going to do anything. What do you want me to do? Well, do something. I don't do anything. Do you want to be work. the next? Exactly. So what the hell should but I she do? She doesn't leave. Yeah. And now I want ha- her to leave, but she won't leave. She yeah. left to go help her parents that are moving back here. Also, oh, the parents are moving to. Yeah, this that's house? why the damn dogs here. The dogs leaving like They're next moving week. to this apartment. No, are you fucking crazy? They have their own house. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very touchy. You got an subject. empty room right there. They could stay sensitive. right. Are there. you fucking crazy? I'm no, not crazy. I'm no. just saying. No. Their no. parents are rich, man. They, they, got got a, they already they bought got a house. Big house, right? Yeah, they're like multi- it's something they're like called millionaires. Ver- Versailles or something. Versace, Versace, Versace or some shit. It's a Versace house. <laughs> <laughs> they just say they lock the room from the. From they the say Queen give us the Tom Brady. That's yeah. what we want. <laughs> yeah, and then you'd say there was some talk about why don't so you just the parents are millionaires, so that's why, why you don't why, want to do anything why don't, because there's nothing you can not, do. Yeah, to, why don't you move in with them? No, yeah. take the guest house. No, yeah. yeah, I'm not that guy. Come on, I want to like, do a podcast from a nicer likes, place. He, yeah, I like is it this. closer to to Winter Park? Uh, you mean Nakoi? We're not in Winter Park. No, I'm. Ta- I live in Winter Park. Yeah. Is it closer to Winter Park? No, not at all. No, where is it? It's like ten minutes away from here. No, no, no. Oh, okay. stay. Yeah, they live like some big old house. It's like a used big house. Mm-hmm. Are they nice to you? Yeah, the parents are great. They're good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're cool. They don't care about. Dad's a bit crazy, I think, but yeah. Why is he crazy? What's like, he I think point? anyone that removed well, all his did teeth. Did you see her? Do- oh, he lost all his teeth? No, he didn't lose all his teeth. He just removed them. Why he removed them? So he had like an infection on his back teeth. Mm-hmm. Okay. To, and uh, like he, he, he like had an that accident. Spread. Where, like they spread. Ch- yeah, they spread a little bit. Okay. Mm-hmm. And they gave him the option like, look, we can fix your teeth. And then he's like, no, you just take them all out. And he got dentures put in? Yeah. So there's nothing wrong with that. That's crazy. That's not crazy. Oh, he got dentures. Well, now he well, does. Yeah. He? Plus the way you made it sound the he's first He's like in time. his 40s. No, no. But the Shut up. He's my age? He's like four, fi- or 50s, if anything. But yeah. yeah. Plus the way you made it sound the first time made it sound like he went home with pliers and a bottle of rum and yeah. pulled out all his just teeth. Out pretty close. Own. No, not it. No. And is he a millionaire? Plus you got to say he was a millionaire, but no. He didn't want the implants? Yeah. He didn't want the implants. Yeah. I just find that fucking crazy. Like I'm, anyone's like, I just take them all out. I'm like getting, he had I'm this. Bu- <laughs> yeah. He got he got his teeth. He had his teeth like here, mm-hmm. and he had just a chipped tooth here, and then just the backs were kind of jacked. Mm-hmm. Just take them all out. Yeah, maybe he just got he sick. Got of it. tired of brushing his teeth. He just got tired of brushing his teeth. Yeah. Well, Drop him like in Mon- the affidavit when you're done. Yeah, like Montgomery uh, Burns. That's one of my little like a little. Oh, I can't. Yeah. 
Like you can't watch people get injured. Well, that's because you've had. You can't you, watch bones like crack. Yeah. Like, you can't watch that shit. You'll watch yeah. Doctor Pimple Popper all day. Yeah, but you yeah, won't yeah, watch no, like. But I can't thing. watch people like getting their teeth ripped out of their head yeah. or like that's shattered shit. teeth, like jacked up. Gary teeth. showed me a clip of a guy that had maggots inside. Ah, uh, nope, Ooh. nope. Yeah. His teeth. That. Like, mm-hmm. So you can't watch. Like I've seen you videos where people like the weights will fall on someone's leg. What's and that snap. last shit you show me? The the guy with the toenails, the toenail infection. Or you ripped the toenail right off? No. The, do you show me? It's like, oh, look at this. Oh, Jiggers? That they, yeah, that they yeah, scrape they, they, like they, Parmesan. They, yeah, the Parmesan cheese foot. Oh. Jiggers. <laughs> yeah. That's horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's the mom with you? She's cool? She Mom's cool. Mm-hmm. Mommy, what did you say? She don't talk? No, she talks a lot. Oh, she talks a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the black woman. I mean, she's like, oh, she shit. So you taking care of my girl? Yeah, mm-hmm. she's, she's, she's there. She's on point. She's very. Take them she's to very, church. She's very. Um, you go to church on Sunday. Versace, with Versace, them? Versace, Versace, mom. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bougie. yeah. You're for going sure. to you're going to church with them on Sundays. I mean, I hope not. Oh, uh, that's gonna happen. Yeah, they're very churchy too. <gasps> are they? Yeah. Oh. So you guys are living in sin, basically. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah. really? Yeah. You guys should be married. Yeah. Are you gonna get married? Like, when are you gonna pop out some this. grandbabies? I don't want to do this again. Is it gonna be on a Baptist like uh, sing-along church? Can I come to the church? wedding? I'm good at weddings. I don't want to be in the wedding. Are you gonna have a potato bar? <laughs> if you're gonna have a potato bar, let us know you have a potato, a bar, potato bar before we get potatoes at Wait, the very. Are you talking? Do we have a potato, potato bar? bar? What? What's a potato bar? What do you mean? What's a potato bar? We had a potato bar. You Ken's wedding had a potato bar. So when you walked in at Ken's buffet, they had all the yeah potato. The last table. There was a bar with potatoes. martini glasses and just mashed potatoes and all the fixings. Oh. You oh. didn't know that? I can't remember. That thing, <laughs> yeah. I was just so angry about the camera guy. We saw him. Though, Yo, right? he showed up at the improv and he tried to shake my hand. I just fucking brought I was like, no, don't touch me. Get the fuck out of here. Where's my hundred dollars? You son of a bitch. Piece of shit. Fucking did a better editing job on fucking uh, iMovie. On your fucking phone. <laughs> on my phone, you Fucking cock I thought suck. that's what you were gonna do. Take the, I should have. You should have. I didn't think better. it was gonna be that shitty. Fuck Did you ever guy. get the raw footage from him? No, he lost everything. And Ken didn't get the fucking footage that he needed to for that whole lawsuit bullshit. Because lawsuit. You didn't hear about that shit? No. What happened? Some chick fell at Ken's at wedding? the at the wedding, and she tried to sue the uh, the, the, venue? the venue. And so the venue went right back at Ken. I was like, Nah, man, you this is your this fault. Waiver. Yeah, you said this. This is your fault, and so. Ken was like, yo, I need the footage. And the guy was like, no. You, oh, he told Ken, you need to pay me $50 or some shit like that. This this kid, the one that yeah. you shell that money I you to, I shell that money to? Yes. I didn't because that meeting last when we saw him last week would have gone way different. I thought he was just a piece of shit. It was him and his video. buddy. Yep. Him and his buddy. And uh, he I, said that, oh, I had to stop him and tell him where to shoot at times because I'm like, you guys are missing the cake cutting right now. Yeah, the, the, he said the raw footage. He still Ken, uh, you need to pay me 50 bucks. To, for me to give you that mm. I was like So what's going yeah. on With this lawsuit thing I don't know I haven't talked to Ken In a while okay. about At least about that But <laughs> <laughs> I talked to Ken But just not about that yeah. Yo, How uh, are you gonna sue The wedding party the, the Oh wedding yeah party? What horrible friend By the way Bitch ass If you fall You fell You fell Get your ass get up Get your fat ass up And shake it off Fucking, Fucking mm. trying to get Oh I didn't get plus one But this bitch got to come <laughs> <laughs> They probably saw The word science center It's like Ooh they got money Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That but was, she fell during dancing, I think it was, or some mm-hmm. shit like that, or sitting down in the chair. I thought they were going to sue because of the DJ. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck, that DJ was horrible. We wanted Doodoo Brown. and we, What they want, they oh. requested. Just, so I'm going to play this. You just pretend, and you do the dance for this to that. Uh, what was it, the electric slide? Clap your hand. Clack, 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 clack. I don't, it was just bad, man. He was just, motherfucker, no blending. He was like... And then he would just play songs that they didn't want. I, I always said, I go to, I told Ken, Ken, you just didn't hire Kermit because he's not black. <laughs> <laughs> so the you, went, the other so you went with the half, half black, the half black guy over the non-black guy. And I get it. You would have been better. You, you going- know what they said? No, they, uh, they were going to hire a nigga. You don't have lights. And then you go in there like, this motherfucker didn't even use. He had a disco ball about the size of this bottle. You know what? I, yeah. I bought the, the same thing. The disco ball you, you buy at fucking Spencer's. Spencer's. <laughs> I had the same thing right next to my lava lamp when I was in junior year. I was like, school. yo, bro, these are your lights? He goes, yeah, bro. And he has just a 
little little canopy thing, and there's just like yeah. little lights. Like I think at one time you held a flashlight up yeah. for the dance floor. Like, I did. Yeah, I, think I hooked you up with some Christmas lights. Mm. <laughs> Hell, all right. It's still recording. I don't give a shit. Mm. He doesn't watch it. I'm out of here. I'm leaving. You out? Right. He's yeah. not been waiting until the podcast wraps. I know he's going to just sign off, off like that. I'm out of here. I love you, <laughs> I love you guys. All this right. has All been right. a lot of fun. Pedro right. Lima, everybody. Pedro Lima. Regan Gorilla <sighs> at Yahoo. Uh, no, shit. That's my uh, email. Dick. Uh, Regan <laughs> Gorilla on Twitter. Regan Gorilla on Instagram. Are you about to give your email out? Who the fuck? <laughs> I always do it. Check me out at Hotmail. <laughs> <laughs> my AIM account. Send me your Bumble account. <laughs> Download. Don't let my wife know. All she right. don't listen to this podcast. Nope. Always awesome having you on, man. No, thank you guys for having me. Look at all this it's fucking candy, candy you guys ate. Most of that was mine. I'm not even going to lie. Holy yeah, fuck. We did a good teamwork in there. All right. That was episode uh, 62. 62 in the can. Check us out on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, Podbean, and uh, sign up for our Patreon because we could use the cash for more candy. <laughs> <laughs> Till next week. See you guys later. <laughs>